Alright, welcome everybody. This is technically Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, but we're doing the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix randomizer today. Finally got it working and I've tried it out, and it's quite fun. Very different from the other randomizers I've done, so... First we need to get things set up. So, I have gotten Kingdom Hearts, the 1.5, 2.5 remix for PC, because it was actually very cheap on sale. So I got that, and I because it's the PC version, it's a, I'm able to run modded scripts on it. So let's get this Lewis script running. There are a couple of scripts I'm going to run all at once to make the game interesting. So uh, there's a script that makes all of the combo finishers, the ones that have like a small chance of activating consistent so that they will always activate. So that's nice. I'm also activating obviously the randomizer script. So it'll randomize the locations of stuff that's inside chests, specific rewards you get throughout the game, as well as magic spells. Basically, tons of stuff is all randomized. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, a lot of the stuff is sp sped up, so you can just get through it faster, which is great. I'll get more into it as we go. Anyhow, starting the Lewis script now. Hopefully everything is going to work a-okay. All right. It's running in the background, so it should work. All right. Anyhow, now that the stuff is running, let's actually get started. So we're going to play on Final Mix Proud Mode. Playing on the hardest difficulty, Proud Mode, I think, is kind of the way to play once you've kind of under once you've played through the game once before. Plus, this gives us the zero experience ability, which actually might be useful for completing the seed. We're doing that. Then we have... Yeah, I, I'm fine with automatic camera. Yes, playing, still playing on a PS4 controller. So here we go. So on the PC version, you're actually able to skip the opening cutscene, which is great. So we start in the dive to uh, dive into the heart area, as usual. Then we get here. So we can choose whether we want the sword, the shield, or the staff. And I'm going to choose the staff because I like that one extra one MP. The rewards we get as we level up are actually randomized, so I have no idea what abilities we're going to get in what order if we do this, so I'm going to say yes, that's the power I want. And then one of the <laughs> one of the scripts that comes with the randomizer is you can access this menu from anywhere. So we can immediately hop in the gummy ship. <laughs> and then this is one aspect of the randomizer. Uh, so the overall goal of the randomizer is to beat the final boss, who is located in the end of the world. End of the world is off limits to us, we need to unlock it, but every other world is available to us right from the beginning, so we can go to any of them in any order that we want. Now, as I said, this is very different from the Zelda randomizers. The Zelda randomizers are very much logic-driven, whereas, like, once you get certain items, you're able to physically access certain areas, and then once you have access to the final area and the final boss, you can just go and beat it, and it's not too difficult. Kingdom Hearts is not like that. There, are, There's very little in the Kingdom Hearts randomizer that actually locks you out of specific logical areas. It's actually very little of that. There's there's a lot less than I would expect, and most of that's been patched out, so you can just do it regardless. The main problem is, so in order to access the end of the world, you either need to seal the keyhole in Hollow Bastion, and get the Navigummy, Actually, I think you just need the Navigummy uh, in order to unlock it. Or you need to build the raft and complete Destiny Islands, which you can ask, access from Traverse Town. But once you get to the end of the world, you actually have to go through it and beat the final boss. And it's pretty hard to do that. You need to be very strong and have a lot of stuff for it. So it's less finding puzzle pieces to get you through the area, and it's much more just building your strength up over time and getting enough ability so that you're comfortable doing the final area. Also, if you build the raft and complete Destiny Islands, it takes you straight to the final boss, whereas if you find the Navigummy, you still have to go through all of the end of the world. Anyways, long explanation, we're actually going to go to Neverland first. Now, you can go to the worlds in any order, but the enemies are still going to be really tough here. Much, They're going to be just as tough as they are in the normal game, so normally we're going to get our butts kicked here. However, there's a reason I come here first. So we can skip all these cutscenes. There are enemies in this world, Shadow Sauras, that are very easy to kill and will give us a ton of experience points if we do it. So I'm going to kill a couple Shadow Sauras here just to get a bunch of level ups, which will give us some stat boosts as well as a couple of abilities, and that's the way to do it. You don't say. Yes, Goofy, I do say. <laughs> Another benefit of doing this is that we get Peter Pan in our party, and Peter Pan and all of our party members start with items. So we're immediately going to rob our party members of their items, because, uh... We can use them a lot better than they can. Gonna take out some potions for healing. 
Uh, Peter Pan comes with a couple of necklaces, so he starts with two fire gun bands, so we're going to take those and immediately equip them on Sora. We also start with the Crab Claw Keyblade. All Keyblades have randomized stats in this, so the Crab Claw will be very different from what it is in the vanilla game. Also, do we start with anything? No. I don't think so. No, that's fine. Okay. Gonna touch the safe point just to activate the gummy warp. Alright. So the first thing I like to do... Nope. So again, the enemies here are definitely tough. But over here we've got this, this the Shadow Sora, who doesn't really attack us and we can stun loop him very easily. Okay, yeah, we get one shot. It was annoying that our party members died immediately. And then uh, all of the regular generic pirates were gathering at our feet. Alright, there we go. So we defeated the... Yeah, look at all those level ups. <laughs> then we can just climb up the ladder. We climb up the ladder. And then in this room... Oh, look, another Shadow Sora. Again, Shadow Sora, you can just very easily loop him in air combos, and there's nothing you can really do about it. Oh man, we get Hurricane Blast already, that's great. Oh wow, we killed him really quickly. And he dropped an Elixir, that's fantastic. And now we're already through a decent amount of Neverland, because we're just ignoring the rest of the enemies. <laughs> what? How come you can do that? That's not allowed! <laughs> Sorry, Captain Hook. And yeah, so we open up this chest and we get a pretty stone. That is not what is normally there. Okay, so we've gotten some ability. Goofy and Donald still don't have any, but we have Scan. Scan is always one of the first abilities you get, which is nice. I like being able to see enemies' HP. And we get Hurricane Blast, which is a great air finisher. Oh, that's going to deal so much damage. Alright, and now what I like doing is I like opening that door to just unlock it so we can shortcut later, and then we can go into the gummy ship. Alright, next what I like doing is I like going to Olympus Coliseum, because one thing is the magic spells. So the magic spells will still be in the same locations that you get in the normal game, but which magic spell you get in which location will be random. So you're never going to open like a generic treasure chest and be like, oh hey, it's Arrow. You still have to go to all of the places in the game that normally give magic spells. But which one you get is random. And that was an emblem piece. That's one of those key items. In order to get through Hollow Bastion, you need four emblem pieces in order to open the door to the lift stop. So that's our first one, which is great. Now, the reason I like coming to Olympus early is because we can get an extremely easy early game magic spell for doing this. All we have to do is clear Phil's barrel training, which is very, very easy. And then we get a free magic spell. And magic in the early game is going to be what we need in order to just survive. Alright, so Phil's training is very easy. It's the same every single time. Alright. I don't anticipate any trouble here, and then we just get a free magic spell. As for which magic spells we get, I'm really hoping for Thunder. Vanilla Thunder here is great, because Thunder is just such a good magic spell. It hits everything for a lot of damage. Blizzard is also great, because that can also hit multiple enemies. I also would not say no to early game Cure. Cure is very, very useful for staying alive. Generally, I don't like seeing Arrow early. I also don't like seeing early Fire or Gravity. Gravity is good for the late game, but for the early game it's really not so much. Also, stop is incredibly good to have, but again, at this point in the game, with how low our MP count is, stop is not going to be all that useful. Oh my gosh, did... Okay, no, we didn't not launch it into this. Oh, okay. That barrel can be a bit annoying to grab. Alright, now hopefully we can launch this into the other one. Beautiful. Cool. Cool. So we're done with that, we get our first magic spell. It's... I hope it's Thunder. Okay! I will also take Blizzard. Blizzard is another great spell to get early on, because it's a shotgun spell that can hit a bunch of targets. And Hades gives us a potion. Alright, now we're gonna just duck out of Olympus. <laughs> and another world I like to hit early? Wonderland, which is another world where you can get a very quick and easy magic spell. And the enemies aren't too difficult, either.
Just go through here. Let me drink the potion. And again, a lot of this... A lot of the randomizer, we just ignore the enemies. Which actually might come to bite us in the butt later, because that means we won't level up as much. And this game definitely wants you to be close to level 50 when you beat the game, because the final boss can kick your butt pretty bad if you aren't. Touch that save point just so we can gummy ship warp to the Queen's Castle later on. Cheshire Cat will give us some ominous warnings. And because we chose the staff at the beginning, our magic is a lot more powerful. I'm going to give a potion to the flower to make us grow up big. Because we want to hit that. Yeah, so like a single blizzard is enough to just destroy everything. And we got the MP to pull it off as well. All of the evidence in Wonderland is vanilla, so you're not going to open up the footprints chest and get something valuable, because you can permanently miss some of the uh, evidence chests. Anyhow, what we really want is we want to go through here. Because this will land us on this spigot. We can do a jump followed by an attack. Grab this. Which gives us the claw marks, and now we'll get a new magic spell for finding them. Okay, we get arrow. No... We don't get... Oh, that was interesting. It gave us arrow, but it mapped <laughs> Blizzard, because we normally get Blizzard there. Another thing about the randomizer? You want to save often. Because the randomizer is prone to crashing. Especially if you use a script that allows you to skip cutscenes early. Okay, I think now we'll head off to Destiny Islands. We can access the Destiny Island seashore from Traverse Town. Because it's just a couple of free checks. And we can see what Kyrie actually wants us to get. Yeah, I've, I've experimented with this a quite a bit off camera, but I've only actually completed one seed. Alright. So she wants two logs, a potion, and a mega elixir. Okay. So she, I think she always wants the two logs, but the other thing she wants are random. So the logs have turned into defense ups. Okay, we will be getting both of those. Whatever the logs turn into, both of the logs will give the same thing. So I know this other log over here is also going to give a defense boost. Alright, so there's just a couple things we can gather here. The two logs, and then the cloth, and the rope. Yeah, so if we can get two logs, a potion, and a mega elixir, and talk to Kyrie again, then we can progress to day two of Destiny Islands and grab some even more free stuff. And then if we can get everything that she asks us to get in the second day, then we can build the raft and go straight to the final boss. And hey, a Mega Elixir! Cool. Alright, we'll peace out. But we still need the logs. Alright, now we'll go to actual Traverse Town. Traverse Town is a good to go to early because the enemies are still easy. They won't kick our butts. We get a magic spell at the end of it. We also get a Trinity at the end of it. Again, the Trinities we get, we'll, we'll always get the Trinities in the same spots that the Trinities are in the base game, but which Trinity we get at which spot is random. And Trinities are useful because they unlock more checks, and the Yellow Trinity in particular, once we get it, we can get a free magic spell from it by going to the Neverland Yellow Trinity door. So the sooner we get that, the better. Because, like, we could go to Halloween Town, but Halloween Town's enemies are going to kick our butts, so it's not really feasible. Oh, we, we're strong. Okay. We can one-shot these shadows. Yeah, we got quite a few level-ups in Neverland. Also, the shops are randomized, too, but I don't think the shops ever have something that you absolutely need. 
Or, like, the shops will sell stuff that you can also get elsewhere. So, like, the shop might sell you one of the emblem pieces, but the emblem pe that emblem piece can also be found in an actual chest. It's still nice to check, because sometimes they sell really good equipment. Ooh, defense ups. Okay. Definitely gotta use those free defense ups. Do that. Again, touch the save point, just so we can get... The save warp. Alright. If we defeat Leon, we get a special prize at the end of the world, so we definitely want to do that. The special prize will never be something that is required to beat the seed, but it can't, it's oftentimes something really good. Oh my gosh, our physical strength is nuts. We're gonna wreck this world. <laughs> Yes, yeah, some of the, some of the locations where you check things will be the same. So like getting the two postcards from the Gizmo shop, those will always be postcards, but the postcards that can be found in treasure chests will sometimes not be the same. Alright, one of the best hidden treasure chests in the entire game. If you aim properly, you can actually hit this clock up here. If you keep hitting it until it turns to 7 o'clock, a chest will appear. It's very precise what angle you need to hit the clock at, because most of the time you'll just bonk off it. Yep, chest appears over there. Dalmatian puppies! Alright, off to the second district. Not having dodge roll or any growth abilities is, a uh, or shared abilities is, a uh, a little slow, but that's fine. I'm really looking for the shared abilities, because once we get things like high jump and glide, that opens up a lot of possibilities. Okay, we meet up with Donald and Goofy, and now this first fight should be a breeze, because we've gotten so many level-ups from Neverland. Oh wow, we get Trinity Limit, and so soon. Wow, we just wrecked them. <laughs> Look at our damage output. Okay, even though we chose the staff, our physical strength is like through the roof. Like, look, look at how quickly we're defeating this guy. Goodbye. <laughs> nice job! Oh, yeah. Okay, so we get an item for defeating guard armor instead of the normal brave warrior accessory. I'll have to check to see what that is. Because it might be... Because skip, we skipped the cutscenes, we don't exactly know what we get. So we're going to have to check. It could be a really good ability. Okay, so here we get money from them, which is nice. We can buy stuff. And because we beat Leon, we get Mithril. Okay, the synthesis materials generally aren't that good for synthesizing stuff, because the gummy... The synthesis workshop has also changed. You now only need one specific item to craft everything. It could be a synthesis material, or it could be like, oh, you need the kingdom key to make this. It's interesting. So most synthesis materials I collect, I sell at the shop just to get extra money, because stuff, stuff you buy from the shops in this game is um, expensive. Also, it looks like we got vanilla fire here, which is not great. Fire is probably the worst magic spell in the game. It's not, like, terrible, but it's just so lackluster compared to some of the others. Okay. And we get... Okay, we get White Trinity. Okay, that unlocks quite a few chests. We'll equip Trinity Limit as well. Still no abilities for our party members. Oh, do we have a shared ability? No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> Goofy starts with the defense. Okay, that's funny. All right. Oh, because we have Blizzard here, though.
Dalmatian puppies. We do want to collect the Dalmatian puppies. Yeah, there will always be a postcard in that fan. Okay, ooh, EXP reigns. Okay, I kind of want that, actually. So I'm going to sell the Lucid Shard we have. I'm also going to sell the Pretty Stone, and that gives me enough money to buy EXP rain. So what exactly did it? So the Fire Gun, it raises... Oh, that's why our strength is so high. It's because we have two Fire Gun bands. Okay, the EXP rain boosts magic power, so we're giving that to Donald. I also will keep it around to give it to me, if necessary. But that'll be nice. EXP rain, that's going to boost the amount of experience we get. I like that a lot. This safe over here is always going to have a postcard. But hey, the postcard rewards are random. We can also get the chest on the roof of here without needing the high jump or glide. Come on. I do like how creative you can get with the platforming in KH1. Like, you can actually reach a lot of stuff a lot earlier than you might think. Alright. And unfortunately, Traverse Town is not devoid of Heartless right now, so we get the next level Heartless. But there's a lot of chests that we can check around here. That's, okay, that's why our strength is so high. It's because we have two accessories that equip that both boost our strength by a lot. I'll, some chests will contain money. Those are the chests that contain money are chests that normally contain gummy ship parts. Because there's no point in using the gummy ship because everything is already open. All gummy ship parts have just re been replaced with the amount of money you get from selling them, which is very nice. There are a couple of exceptions, like saving the gorillas in deep jungle will give you regular gummy ship parts. Those have not been randomized, but anything you'd find in a chest has been. A lot of Dalmatian puppies. That's fine. Another thing that has been changed, uh, the red trinity, trinity that normally blocks the waterway has been removed. So you don't ever need it again. And I think that's just to prevent things from getting, uh... from you getting locked out of needing it. Well, since we have white trinity so early, there's one of these in every world, so... Mithril shard... We can already talk to Leon and kind of progress the plot. We don't. We thankfully don't have to deliver a, the book to Merlin. So, like, some story stuff has been skipped, but not a lot. Ooh, strike raid. Okay, forget Trinity Limit. I'm not sure if we can even use Trinity Limit right now, actually. Yeah, because it takes a minimum of free MP from all of us. Oh, but we... Well, I guess we can see if it'll work. <laughs> How many puppies have we found thus far? There's still nine here in Traverse Town. So I'm still I'm not sure if the amount of Dalmatians that are in each world is the same, it's just randomized which chests they're in, or if it's like, oh, Traverse Town could literally have all of the Dalmatians potentially. I think I think the number of Dalmatians is still pretty consistent, but I, I don't know for sure. Again, I haven't played this that much. I just tried to make sure that everything actually works properly, and make sure that I know how to beat the seeds. I do now. Okay, I did not want to spawn in these guys. Okay, that's another thing. So you saw Donald just used Thunder, and I don't have Thunder. That's because when you get magic spells, you will get the random magic, but Donald will get what you normally get there. So, like, at, at Olympus, you normally get Thunder. I got Blizzard, so I have Blizzard from that location, but Donald has Thunder from that location. Which is kind of interesting. Okay. 
All right. <laughs> well, because we've gotten so many Dalmatian puppies, let's pay the Dalmatians a visit and get a couple of rewards. All right. So I think the first free rewards will always be Ansem Reports 1, 12, and 13. Ansem Reports work interestingly in the randomizer. In the normal game, they give you some lore on the backstory. In, in the randomizer, they give you hints on where certain things are. So, we check here. The chest in the hidden room has a mushroom. So that's referring to the hidden room in Agrabah. So that has a mushroom, which might be necessary in order to build the raft. And then the chest in tr the treasure room in Agrabah has torn page number two. So that's we need the torn pages to progress through 100 acre wood. Uh, the co the po first postcard reward is the seagull egg, which is needed to build the raft. And then the chest in Agrabah Main Street has a postcard. So generally, it'll give you clues about important things that you might need, such as postcards, stuff to build the raft, the emblem pieces, summons. And it also might give you hints on where very annoying checks are. So for example, it might be like, oh, if you clear all the jungle climber stuff, which is an annoying minigame, you'll only get like a potion. So it could tell you that as well. All right, we create the shortcut there. Let's pay Merlin a visit. Fire! I guess that is one thing. When you get fire, you you need fire to get to Merlin's house. So for example, right here, this is going to play at a much faster animation than in the vanilla game, because that's one of the randomizer scripts working. You can actually speed it up even further, but I, I don't. Alright, thank you. Alright, now I think we can leave Travers Town. So I think next, I'm actually going to go to Halloween Town, not because there's particularly a lot of chests here. There's a couple of checks, but mainly I just want to take the the uh, accessories that Jack Skellington has equipped, because he might have something good. On one of my practice attempts, or like where I was testing it out, he had two royal crowns. Both of which bump up your MP by two apiece, so that was a jackpot. Also, the Heartless here, and initially, will not actually attack us, so that's nice. Dalmatian puppies. And that's also never randomized, but still an elixir is a nice thing to have. Yeah, so now we should get Jack in the party, we can take his items, we can take his accessories, and we can also get the Torn Page in this room. Alright. Now, Jack's equipment, he has a Fire Gun Band and an Element Ring. The accessories are not randomized. Okay, so I'll give the Fire Gun Band to Goofy. The Element Rain boosts Elemental Resistance and Defense. I think I'll give that to Donald, because he dies so easily. Okay. Not great, but not terrible. And I think at that point, we there's not much else to do but use the gummy ship and get out of here. Could the torn page be from Merlin's book? Yes, it could. Um, I think now we'll go to Deep Jungle. We should be strong enough to clear out Deep Jungle. And we get another Trinity and a Magic Spell at the end of the world. And there's a lot of checks here that are just free. 
As much as I dislike Deep Jungle, it is a pretty good place to go to early on. Alright, defeat Sabor. Unfortunately, Tarzan doesn't have any accessories on him, but he does come with free potions, so... Eh, better than nothing. Once we're a little bit stronger, I'll also go to Atlantica just to take Ariel's accessories. But if I can avoid Atlantica, I want to. Also, Atlantica is pretty bad to go to because, like, you do get a magic spot at the end of the world, but there are very few checks hidden there. Most of the s most of the stuff in Atlantica is hidden in clamshells, and I'm pretty sure those are not randomized. I think you always those are always vanilla because they're technically not treasure chests. All right. So doing some parkour, we can get through. <laughs> It's amazing how much I used to struggle with the treehouse, but after after randomizer doing some of the practice attempts, it's actually not too hard. Although Kingdom Hearts One platforming is still not great. <laughs> yeah, but you can actually climb the treehouse pretty easily without needing high jump. Ooh, money, baby. Alright, now we can jump. Do some air attacks to get into the boat here. Or a calcum, that's nice. Or a calcum is often needed to synthesize stuff in the item workshop. Like, stuff like blaze shards, not really needed. But stuff like mithril, dark matter, and aura calcum generally still is. Alright, another defense up. Megalixir! Alrighty. Gotta get that save point. Quit for Jungle Slider, because I do not care. And now we can collect the slides, and the slides all give us different stuff. Ansem Report 7. Cool. Ansem Report 3. Slide 5. Alright. Cottage. Potion. Yeah, so the slides can turn into anything, and you can find, like, slides 1 through 6 pretty much anywhere, and a camping set. Now, I thought this meant you wouldn't be able to progress for Deep Jungle until you found where all of those slides got randomized into. No, you don't actually need the slides in order to progress through the world. Again, that's one of those, like, logical sequences that just got removed from the randomizer. Shoot, I didn't see what we got there. Guard earring? Interesting. Um, what does the guard earring do? AP and defense. Okay, well, we'll give it to Goofy. Oh, Goofy finally got treasure magnet. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Uh, oh, that's right, the reports. We got two new reports. Report free. The chest at the Tea Party Garden has Earth Shine, which gives us Simba. All right, that's good. But we're going to need uh, probably Glide to get that. Monster's Mouth has the Navigummy. Okay, great. That opens up End of the World, pretty much. And then Chest at the Waterway has the Mermaid Kick. Okay, good stuff. Cloth is in the Dark Chamber, and there's a postcard in the Dark Chamber. That's Agrabah. Yeah, so see, we only have one of the slides, but now it'll we actually have all of the slides. And I'm not sure if that's, like, something the randomizer patched out, or if it's just, like, we picked up the slides outside. They gave us something else, but th that's what the game ultimately checks for, to see if you have the slides. It's confusing. This is why I did practice, uh, off-screen. Okay, gotta go back to the treehouse. Oh, wait. If we're going back to the treehouse, this is the best way to do it. We can warp to the tunnel. <laughs> Once you know exactly where you need to go in the different parts of Deep Jungle, using these save warps actually speeds it up significantly. <laughs> it's still an annoying world, but makes it a lot more manageable. 
That's right, we go to Vines 2. <laughs> Kerchak! I don't want to swing on the vines unless I absolutely have to. It is kind of interesting we haven't gotten a new Keyblade yet, because there's a lot of Keyblades in this. Like, they're all the main Keyblades, but then you also have, like, the Dream Sword, the Dream Staff, and the Dream Shield from the Dive into the Heart sequence, and the Wooden Sword. So there's actually a lot of weapons to get. And I, I can't tell right now if my default Keyblade is, like, pretty good or if it's, like, pretty bad. At the very least, it's not lowering my max MP at all. How could you? Ah, uh, deep jungle and your weird <laughs> flags to check to see how to progress stuff. All right, now we got to kill a bunch of monkeys, which should be very easy because we have Blizzard, <laughs> and we're incredibly powerful. Nice one, Goofy. Goofy's also pretty powerful. Yeah, see, the monkeys are still giving us gummy parts. Still would be better if we had Thunder. Blizzard, I think, is slightly more powerful than Thunder, but Thunder hits everything faster. And these guys, with this amount of MP, two Blizzards and two Funders are both needed, so I would have rather had Funder, but okay. Nice one, Donald. Power Shard. Can sell that for some cash. Ah, the wonky platforming of Kingdom Hearts 1. Gotta love it. Man, being able to access that gummy menu from anywhere is so nice. So nice. I'll be curious to see how easy not Clayton is to beat. See ya. Uh, uh. Oh wow, Donald wrecked the other set of Power Wilds. That was great. So the Fire Gun Bangles were a great find early on. <laughs> Accessories on um on Peter Pan. That was definitely a good move. Oh, hey, more strength! And not only do we have a lot of strength, we also have a lot of defense. It's the double whammy. I love it. Alright. We helped the monkeys. <laughs> now we have to fight Sabor. I think I'm just gonna go for all of Deep Jungle. Again, there's still a lot of checks we can get along the way, and I want that magic spell at the end of it, and that extra trinity. Both are going to be very nice. Oh my gosh, we are... So Sabor is not doing a whole lot of damage to us. And we're doing a lot of damage to Sabor. <laughs> wow. That was probably the easiest Sabor fight I've ever had. <laughs> now, I could skip the cuts in here, but I actually want to see what accessory, or whatever the accessory Sabor normally gives us, turned into. Because it doesn't take a whole long, long time to find out. A pretty stone. Okay. <laughs> well, we can sell it for cash. Man, it's amazing how much Deep Jungle is sped up just by the ability to enter your gummy ship at any time. So now Jane's in the, uh, the treehouse again, but we can't just warp to the tunnel, because the tunnel 
area to the treehouse is blocked off. So, we're going to actually go for Hipples of Lagoon in the vines now. Because there's actually a lot of treasure chests along the way over here. We can actually get all the treasure chests here, it just requires some precise parkour. So this chest here is easy. Mega elixir. This chest is very precise, but we can't we can grab it. Okay. You've gotta jump at like the very edge. But it can be done. Yeah, that wasn't enough. It's annoying because if you go too close to the edge, Sora just won't jump. Oh, that was so close. You alternatively can go up in the vines and then fall and try to land on it, but that's relying on the camera giving you the proper angle. So I find this is faster, just a little tougher. Or you can just wait till you get high jump and or glide. Okay, there we go. Dalmatian puppies returned home. Wonderful. Alright. Oh. Darn it. That chest is actually very easy to grab. Once you know about the whole attacking in midair gives you a slightly more horizontal distance. Alright, now we go to the vines, because there are a couple of chests up here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Darn it. I forgot to touch the save point. I doubt we'll need it, but... I want the save point there in case I do need it later. Okay, now we can swing on the vines. Magic arm, what? I believe that boosts AP, or MP. There you go, so Donald should now be very powerful, magically speaking. Normally I try going for a magic build myself, but because we haven't gotten a whole lot of stuff that boosts MP by like two, and because we have a lot of stuff that massively boosts strength, I'm going for more for a strength build right now. Alright, here's Jane. We can finally save her from the giant fruit. We got the fruit! I could go for a Thunder or a Cure for as the magic spell. Both would be great. I'd probably prefer Cure at this point. Donald will probably die. Oh my gosh, look at Donald's HP. Look at Donald's HP. If something breathes on him, he's gonna die. Okay, time for not Clayton. Okay, we're taking almost no damage. And, oh, okay, yeah. I think not Clayton is gonna be an absolute joke, because our defense and attack power are just through the roof. Oh look, Donald died instantly. Wow, the stealth sneak is almost dead. That's how you know you're powerful, when, you, when you're able to basically kill the stealth sneak. <laughs> hey Nintendo Addict, welcome. Yeah, this is definitely no level 1 run. This is way easier. <laughs> At least for now. <laughs> 
Jeez, Goofy, leave some for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, Goofy got evolution. Well, Goofy doesn't have the MP to use evolution, but if we give him the magic armlet, he will. Or the EXP ring. Oh, that's great. Evolution's great. He can just pop a Mega Potion then. Free of charge! <laughs> Alright. I'm hoping we get Cure from this. I would love to get Cure from this. <laughs> we got Stop? Okay. I'll take Stop. Once we get our MP count up, that'll be nice. Alright. Uh... There you go, Goofy. Oh, Donald got cheer. We don't have any uh, summons yet, but that better that than nothing. There we go. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> if we get yellow Trinity from this, that'll be great. 600 money. I love that. Dalmatian puppies, of course. Dalmatian puppies. <laughs> All of these chests are just going to have Dalmatian puppies. Okay, Mithril. Whoa. Alright, that <laughs> could have gone better. But it also could have gone worse. So I'll take it. Yoink! Probably should just climb up the vine, but no, I'm stubborn. Oh, I think that's all the chests in there. Alright, Chamber of Hearts. I wish we could get the White Trinity while we're in here, but no, it's going to warp us back to the camp. Enemies are not randomized, correct. Enemies and bosses are not randomized. I think that would break too much stuff if they tried to do that. Like, imagine if you got Dragon Maleficent, where not Clayton normally is fought. Like, I don't think he, she'd fit. Bozogarine? Okay. And we get Red Trinity? Did we actually get Red Trinity, though? Alright. Goes against my moral creed, but we're gonna go to Atlantica, kill those first wave of enemies, and then rob Ariel of her stuff. <laughs> and that's it! <laughs> You might be able to shuffle enemies, maybe. I don't know, if, like, generic shadows got shuffled into, like, defenders or wyverns, that might crash the game? I don't know. Ugh. This just feels wrong, going here, voluntarily. But again, Ariel might have royal crowns, so... Or even better, <laughs> Cosmic Arts. <laughs> or Shiva Belts. All three of those would be amazing if she did. Heck, even if she has more Fire Gun bangles, I'll take it. There it is. I'm really glad that most stuff in Atlantica is just not randomized, actually. It makes it a lot easier and quicker to go through. Thanks, Goofy. <laughs> We're just here to rob Ariel. It sounds sounds mean when you say it like that, but it's true. <laughs> Alright. So first we rob Ariel of her potions. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? It would go much better in my collection. Okay, Ability Stud sucks, but we have two more Fire Gun Bands! Oh boy, we're equipping those on Goofy. <laughs> or at least one of them. Oh, that'll lower his AP count. That's okay. Goofy, you don't need Treasure Magnet. Donald won't benefit from the strength. Okay, well, if Sora gets an extra accessory slot, then we, then we good. There we go. Um, I want to see what that white trinity check is in the Chamber of Hearts, so we're going back here again. I'm not doing Jungle Slider unless it's necessary, though. Also, what trinity did we get? Okay, we actually did get red, red trinity. Alright. 
Good to know. Hey, Marty! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> it's Kingdom Hearts Randomizer. We've already beaten Deep Jungle, but... We gotta go back to get that one chest in the Chamber of Hearts. It's really far away, but we're doing it. <laughs> oh, man. Ari Ariel doesn't need that stuff, okay? She really doesn't. Also, I'm not sure if these are in the vanilla game or if they added these to the randomizer, but you can now use these to grab on and climb up. I don't remember those being there in the vanilla game. I thought you needed high jump in order to reach here. They're probably there in the vanilla game, because what... I'm... Yeah, you're true. That's true. I also don't think there is any benefit whatsoever to doing the white mushroom challenges. Because, like, the only advantage of doing the white mushroom challenges is to get mystery goo, which we do not need for the item workshop anymore. Or to get, like, the fire arts, blizzard arts, thunder arts, all that, and... That doesn't even... Ma that literally cannot possibly give you anything, because by the time you can get them all, you can go to the final boss. Oh, nice, Marty. I had... I had... I got donuts from Meyer because they were on sale, and they looked good. They're delicious. This better be something good. Goofy got saved the cane. All right, that's a good shield, maybe. Nope, it's worse than the... <laughs> it looks fancier, but it's worse than the Defender. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Hmm. I think our next bet is Ag is Agrabah. We should have good enough stats at this point to clear it, and we get a Trinity at the end of the world, plus two magic spells. And if we can get our MP count up before we beat Jafar, he'll be really easy. We can stop loop Jafar. <laughs> the graphics look too good to be Kingdom Hearts 1. That's because I'm playing the PC version, which is HD 4K graphics, that I've actually turned down. I've turned down how good the graphics are because it makes my computer overheat and crash. It actually crashes the game. Thanks, Goofy! AP up. Nice. Okay, I have to remember. Go to Aladdin's house after Pot Centipede. There is the merchant there who sells stuff. I always forget. But he can sell good stuff. Uh, do we get a, have any? No, we don't. No, we don't. Yeah, randomizer speeds up a lot of the generic animations. So it speeds up some stuff that I wish it didn't speed up. Like, it speeds up the Poo Swing minigame to make it almost impossible now. Apparently, some people are better at Poo Swing than I am, but, like, if you want to get, like, the best score on Poo Swing, like, launching him out of the orbit, it's really hard to do that now. I kind of have to turn off that specific Lewis script to do it. Aladdin! <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. We're unstoppable! <laughs> there are enemies on screen and it's like, no, there's no enemies. Where did the other shadow go? Doggone it. Donald, can you please take him out? Oh no. T sorry, you're too fat. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting so much money. <laughs> we might need to spend a lot of it. Because for some reason, everything in the shops and in, in the randomizer costs like thousands of money. Vortex. Oh boy, bad ability. <laughs> My favorite. I let's follow the carpet, Sora! Come back when you're a little richer. <laughs> Basically. Yes, I'm saving a lot, because the, the randomizer is prone to crashing. Wish it wasn't, but it is. Especially if you turn on early uh, cutscene skip, which I actually don't turn that on. As nice as it is to have, because it just crashes the game too much. No! Oh, you jerk butt. Fine. 
Fine. We won't we won't get that treasure chest, I guess. All aboard. Ooh, blaze gem. Nice. Also, the accessories that enemies can drop upon their defeat can also randomize, because I remember <laughs> in the practice, in like one of the practice randomizers, oh yep, see, like that guy dropped a guard earring. In one of my practice ones, the red nocturnes, the really like tiny little enemies from uh, Wonderland, dropped cosmic arts on their defeat. <laughs> so I may, may have, uh, may have taken advantage of that. <laughs> Don't know why Aladdin's in here just sinking in quicksand. But there we go. Chest has ultimate weapon. Ultimate weapon can suck in the randomizer. It can have the worst stats, potentially. Likewise, wooden sword can be ridiculously OP. Oh yes, and now we can rob Aladdin of his accessories! Okay, you know what, Aladdin? I'm actually going to give you a fire gun band, and then I'm going to swap you into my party. Although I will be robbing you of at least your uh, ephers. That. Sorry, Donald, but I think Aladdin, with his extremely increased strength stat, is going to be better. <laughs> we going for strength builds today. Although, Donald... Well, Donald can heal, potentially, but also Donald has, like, a, a nickel's worth of HP. So, he, it, he dies in one hit from anything. Give me money, give me money. H Aladdin! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Guard earring again. Is the guard earring even a good accessory? Probably not compared to the fire a gun bangle. Ooh, or a calcum. Nice. Okay. Aladdin, do you have any abilities equipped that I don't necessarily want you to have? Instead of Treasure Magnet, let's give you a Critical Plus. But I want to steal stuff! Well, too bad. Uh, what does what the Guard Earring give? Oh, nothing. <laughs> well, we can sell them. That's fine. You know the interesting thing about this game, Marty, is like... I think this is a game that, like, I don't like in my head, but I love in my heart. Which is fitting for Kingdom Hearts. Because, like, if I think about it, I'm like, I hate most of the worlds in this game. I think the combat system is very clunky and overly simplistic. I don't like the platforming. And yet, despite that, it's... <laughs> it's like, the game is worth more than the sum of its parts. Like, by all intents and purposes, I shouldn't like the game as much as I do. Because I'm like, the only worlds that I actually really like are Neverland, Hollow Bastion, and End of the World, which are the last free worlds of the game. <laughs> and a lot of the boss fights are super annoying, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I still really enjoy this game, and I don't really know why. It's got a lot of charm to it, I guess. Plus, it has the, my favorite story out of all the Kingdom Hearts games. And the best villain. Okay. Hi, Pod Centipede. Oh, got it! As a matter of fact, Marty, I'm not a huge fan of Halloween Town in this game. The boss fights are obnoxious. <laughs> yes, exactly. The boss fights are kind of annoying. Like, the world is kind of annoying to ex- Oh wow, we already killed him. The world can be annoying to explore as well, because you can't examine things while enemies are on screen, so you just have to fight hordes of enemies. Jasmine! Jasmine! <laughs> Dane! Oh, I didn't kick a butt in that fight. Here I come! Here I come. Alright, well, we learned second chance, which is awesome. We just need... let's see. 
No, I'd have to unequip, like, everything. Oh, wait. I have at least a couple of AP boosts, though. Okay, I have one AP boost. Okay, I don't need Treasure Magnet. I'd rather have a second chance. Acrobaz... Yeah, Acrobaz is interesting. They definitely did a great job of adapting the movie location to the game. But again, it's kind of a case of, like, I don't like the enemies in the world. I don't like any of the boss fights in this world. Again, it's worth more than the sum of its parts. Traverse Town is a great hub world. That is true. But again, when it actually comes to, like, doing the missions in Traverse Town to progress the plot, I'm not actually a huge fan. Also, speaking of, um, what I don't like, <laughs> I hate this fight. Oh, I hate, I hate this fight a lot. Ironically, Monstro is one of the worlds I like most in this game. I mean, I wouldn't still say, like, I think it's a great world. But you can get through it very fast. Like, you can get through it very fast. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, this fight sucks, though. Like, I personally think this is the worst designed fight in the entire game. And, like, it's not even close. This fight and Dark Riku are the worst designed fights of the game. Not Ansem Riku, not Possessed Riku, Dark Riku. Although, the, hey, that was pretty easy. Alright. Well, since we have Aladdin in our part... Since we have Aladdin in our party, <laughs> we can use Zabu. Not Dark Sora, Dark Riku. Dark uh, Dark Sora, he's super annoying, but he is a fair fight, I would say. Dark Riku is like, oh, he's immune to all magic and retaliates every like third attack, so you can't even combo him. Diamond Dust Keyblade. Okay, finally, a new Keyblade. Is it better? Uh, oh, it gives us a big MP boost, but less strength. Okay, that's good to know. If I can get some accessories that boost my MP as well, we're going for a full MP bo uh, build. Marty, that's because you've played Dark Riku when you're at a proper level. Like, if you're super strong, he's not that bad, because you can just cure spam. On a level 1, though, oof, oh man, does he suck. Cerberus sucks. But thankfully, Cerberus is optional. <laughs> yes, Cerberus is actually a completely optional fight. You do not have to beat him. Gotta say, I miss not having high jump. Yes, Cerberus is optional. You don't even... You can beat the entire game without ever setting foot into Olympus Coliseum. I didn't know that at the time! I only knew that once we started doing the level 1 runs. Besides, beating Cerberus builds character. Alright. Let's get Donald Duck back into the party just so we can Trinity a couple things. Where's the relic chamber? Oh, he is. he's playing Lick. Intra it has been a while. There's actually like a Lick's Elix multiplayer session going on, huh? Ah, here's the relic chamber. Yes. Oh boy, puppies. Oh, is this a chest that? Can we actually get this chest without high jump? No, I don't think we can. Or if so, it's too precise of a jump for me to go out of my way to do that.
Thank you, Donald. Now, can we white Trinity this fit guy? <laughs> oh my gosh, is that the Pokemon game that literally everybody on Twitch that's not named Colorful Artie has been playing? Good lord, it seems like every week it's just like we're only playing Pokemon. <gasps> Omega Arts! Oh wait, not... Omega Arts is good, it's not Cosmic Arts, though. I got really excited there, but still. Actually, wait. That might be better than the Fire Gun. Oh, wait, that is better. Never mind. Omega yes, please. Oh, man. Maybe I'll just go out of my way and kill a bunch of those guys so we can get a bunch of Omega Arts. Also, if we throw the barrel over here, can we actually get enough? Oh, nope. Oh, come off it. That was, that was the part of Breath of the Wild that I disliked the most. was like, oh, you get a bunch of weapons, but they break. Like, I don't want that. The only game I like that in is uh, Fire Emblem. And even then, I don't, like, adore it. But, I, like, I tolerate it. <laughs> Splish! I guess it was... Goofy. Sorry about that, but you were in the way and you broke the barrel. So now, I don't think we can get up there without high jump. Alright, let's see if we can get another uh, Omega Arts. Drat. Probably should have had a Aladdin in my party, because he has a lucky strike. <laughs> How come I'm only getting one... Okay, that's why, because... That was weird. I was only getting one experience point from some of them. Dark Matter. Okay, if, if we get Blue Trinity at the end of this world, that's going to be annoying. Because Blue Trinity actually doesn't lead to a lot of places. Very few of the Blue Trinities have been randomized. Plus, if we get Yellow Trinity, we get another magic spell. If we get Green Trinity, we get the Item Workshop. Both of those would be much better. Wait, Pringles changed their logo? Oh. Donald got Lucky Strike. With Donald and Aladdin together, we can get more Omega Arts. <laughs> He's a flat dimension- Wow! Why would they do that? How dare they? Goofy has MP haste, but he doesn't have the AP for it. Okay. Guess we're gonna take on Jafar without, uh... Gonna take on Jafar without the a lot of MP. That'll be fun. But we do have a lot of strength, so... I'm optimistic. Woohoohoo, <laughs> money, baby. <laughs> and now, the main attraction. Alright, sorry Donald, but Aladdin is better. He just is. Also, we, we need him. Fairy Harp Keyblade? Uh? Darn it, that's just worse. In literally every way. <laughs> Ooh, Torn Page. Oh, bother. Oh, hey, an AP up! Maybe I'll save that for Goofy. <laughs> Alright. Let's try Jafar. Normally I like to stop loop him, but we don't have the MP for that. Yep. 
Okay, that's a lot of damage to Jafar. <laughs> I love Genie in this fight. Okay, are you... What are you about to do? Oh, good. That's the attack. I love it when you do that. Oh yeah, the genie's great. Also, now that I know how you actually are supposed to use the genie summon, genie summon's actually really good. I used to think he was so terrible. <laughs> no, he's actually great. Okay, more ice in the center. Oh wait, no. He's lighting his torch on fire. No, stop running! This is the annoying thing about Jafar. He just keeps running away from you. And especially if we don't have anything like dodge roll to quickly pursue him. I'm really sorry about this. Run. <laughs> <laughs> that gun it stupid you far. <laughs> Get over here and let me hit ya. Yes. Okay, cool. One more <laughs> Yes, Sora is extremely clunky in this game. That is a good way of putting it. Very clunky combat. Oh, also, Marty, I finally saw Luca. It, was, it wasn't anything special, but it was a nice, fun, like, light-hearted movie. I enjoyed it. Probably middle-of-the-road Pixar for me, though. The dad was great. Yes, the dad was great, obviously. Alright. Oh, jackpot. Don't have the MP, f or the AP for it, though. Darn it, Goofy needs more AP. He needs more AP. Okay, the second fight should be very easy. <laughs> oh, hey, we got an extra 1 MP from I don't know what. Genie! Genie! <laughs> Whee! Fair enough. Yeah, it was just a nice, lighthearted story. It was kind of like... I don't want to say it was like Cars 1, but it was kind of like Cars 1 in that, like, it wasn't anything amazing or special, but it was just a fun movie. And, you know, I, f I think we can appreciate that. And, you know, it wasn't a sequel. So, I'm happy with that. No, you know, like, Cars 1, it wasn't anything special. Cars 1 is not... Marty, Cars 1 is such a cliche story. It was well done. And it was definitely enjoyable. I'm not saying I don't enjoy it. But it's not like, it wasn't like Inside Out, where it's like this really creative premise. Or like Coco, where it was like a masterful storytelling. Like, Cars 1 was just like, good. Not legendary. <laughs> okay, f all right, well, fair enough. Marty, you can like Cars, you can adore Cars, that's perfectly all right. <laughs> cars holds a special place in my heart as well. But it did not need two sequels. <laughs> Well, Genie Jafar was a joke. <laughs> I am speed. Okay, okay Jafar. <laughs> you know, Nintendo Addict, that's fine. Neither of the Cars sequels were particularly good. Like, Cars 2 was... I think you could make a solid case that it's one of the worst movies Disney's ever, or Pixar's ever put out. And then Cars 3 is just, like, not that enjoyable. Like, Cars 3 was definitely a better movie than Cars 2. I think Cars 2 was more enjoyable. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm pretty sure the year Cars 2 came out, Disney, or Pixar made the DreamWorks movie, and DreamWorks made the Pixar movie. Because Cars 2 reminded me of a, Pix uh, of a DreamWorks movie, and Kung Fu Panda 2 reminded me of a Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah, I know! That, that was one year where I'm like, yeah, 
uh, Cars 2 did not deserve to win Best Animated Picture. Or even Second Best. <laughs> if we die, we can weave the Cave of Wonders faster! Kung Fu Panda 2 is way better than it has any right to be. It's so good. And, and Kung Fu Panda 1 was also good. Haven't seen the third one. It's on my list. Marty, you and I should watch the third one sometime. I've heard it's like, if you love the first two, you'll like it. It's not on the same level, though. <laughs> Alright. Who do we get? Goofy got the Adamant Shield. And we get Green Trinity. I think we... That is actually Green Trinity. I don't know if they actually randomized the text. Okay, good. Alright, Goofy. Adamant Shield... Darn it! Okay, Goofy may just have come with a pretty good starting shield. We got a couple of uh, postcards there. Alright, let's see if we can finally get that treasure chest. <laughs> it's just a Mithril shard. Oh, doggone it! I forgot to check Aladdin's house for the pet or AGAIN! I even reminded myself, remember after the pot centipede? Go now we can't go to the pet or. The pet or I don't think ever appears after you beat a Agrabah. Ah, I'm so freaking ticked! <laughs> that literally always happens. Genie is in the Lotus Force. Okay, we're going there next. Dodge Roll is in the final dimension. Great. Okay, and the Jack in the Box is also in the uh, end of the world. Wonderful. Arr. Also, I will argue Incredibles 2 is a good sequel. I know you don't think so. But I will argue Incredibles 2 it was a good sequel. Marty, I don't think that's a hot take. I'm pretty sure that's what most people think. I think I'm in the minority. Yeah, that's... fair. Okay, I can buy more XP reigns. Defense? Oh, Wishing Star Keyblade as well. Yeah, I need a new Keyblade. I can buy another EXP reign. I'm going to save my money, though. Okay. Wishing Star. It's exactly the same as the Crab Claw, but with shorter reach. No thank you. Let's mail the postcards. Seagull Egg. <laughs> Combo Plus. One Weaned Angel. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. even more strength and more reach. Yes, please. Tony was good looking to begin with. Hot take. Oh, he's selling Earthshine, but we can also find Earthshine in the uh, Wonderland. Sephiroth. Oh man, imagine if we had to fight Sephiroth. If the Navagummy is hidden behind Sephiroth, it can happen. Shard, Megalixir. All right. Do we have? We already have Ansem's report seven. Dream Sword for Dark Matter. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mage's Staff. Sure. Why not? Bright Crystal. Why not? Yeah, Wreck It Ralph two did kind of suck. I liked it at the time, but I'm also like, this movie will not age well at all. It doesn't have that timeless Disney feel that I'm looking for. Alright, let's see what the Dream Sword is like. Okay, a slightly less strength, but an additional 1 MP. Okay, I could go for that. I think I'm still sticking with One Winged Angel for now. Mage's Staff, it's worse. <laughs> Night Shield, plus 1 MP and minus 1 strength. I will go for that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, I remember that, Marty. Honestly, hot take. Looking back, Frozen wasn't that good. It was all right. It wasn't anywhere close to being as good as Tangled was, though. And I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the <coughs> twist villain. <laughs> what the heck? Goofy does have seven MP. What on earth? <laughs> Okay, Goofy, I don't think you need that EXP ring anymore, buddy. Increase... Ooh, yes. EXP necklace. And Donald, you can get the EXP ring again. Goofy don't need 7 MP. He doesn't. I'd rather you have slightly higher... Uh, actually, with slightly higher MP... Ooh, MP haste, yes. We can soon get MP rage. Stun impact? Sure. I agree. Frozen was super overhyped. Like, I didn't dislike it. I still think it's, like, an enjoyable movie. It's far from one of Disney's best, though. Also, Elsa is not a particularly likable protagonist. And some report 13. Mithril Shard. Torn Page. <gasps> there we go. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. <laughs> yes, Marty, and that is exactly why I don't like Elsa. Actually, not really. <laughs> I, I don't like Elsa much for the same reason I don't really like Ariel. Neither of them grow as a character at all. Like, Elsa really doesn't grow as a character at all. Oh, also, what new magic spells did I learn from Agrabah? I got fire upgrade and an arrow upgrade. Arrow upgrade is good. Fire upgrade kind of sucks. Would have much rather had cure or thunder. Yeah, Tangled is very good, Proxima. And again, I don't hate Frozen. I just think it was super overrated and not as good as people say it is. <laughs> Marty, <laughs> what are you about to uh, say? Yeah, yeah, we can watch Meet the Robinsons. Meet the Robinsons, I've seen that. I So I've seen it twice. I saw it once in theaters when I was like 10 years old. I'm like, this isn't that great. Saw it recently. Very enjoyable. Ironically, the only part of the movie I didn't particularly enjoy the second time around was meeting the Robinsons. <laughs> but the actual storyline, like, it's actually very good. Very charming. And they beat the... Uh, the message of the story over your head too much as well. Yeah, it's great though. The the main villain is literally Waluigi meets Doofenshmirtz. It's it's the best. Oh, also, we can fight opposite armor now, can't we? We should do that. Do 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 do. You know, you know you're in trouble when Goofy's MP bar is bigger than Donald's HP bar. Like, that should not happen. Yeah, he's pretty similar to Dick Dastardly. That's actually a very good way of putting it. Can we get, uh, Thunder sometime soon? That would be very much appreciated. Or Cure? At this point, forget Thunder. I'd rather have Cure. Alright, knock down the door. Let's fight opposite armor. Oh, I know! And I mean real Looney Tunes. None of this the Looney Tunes show nonsense. Original Looney Tunes. Amazing. Well, some of it was amazing. Bugs Bunny was great. <laughs> A lot of the Merry Melodies... Oh my gosh, look at his HP bar plummet. Ooh, doo doo. 
Donald's already dead, as is expected. His hands are feet, and his feet are hands! Wow. Wow, this guy sucks! Actually, I think we're just really strong right now. Oh yeah, Destiny's Force. Amazing music. Very underrated. Donald learned second wind, which is good, because he's gonna need that a lot! <laughs> Alright, what magic spell will we learn today? Please be cure. We got Thunder. Okay, I'll take it. Thunder is good. Thunder I can definitely make use of. For instance, let's go power up the gizmo shop. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, not back to the fur district. I just came from there. Okay, we are we're definitely strong enough to go to Monstro, but first we've gotta go back to Wonderland, because uh apparently Genie is hiding in the Lotus Woods somewhere. <laughs> okay, Sora, I didn't want you to strike at the enemies actually. I wanted you to move into the alcove. Alright, we'll take the long way around. Alright, let's try to avoid triggering the enemy spawns, if we can. Because there are a lot of enemies in the gizmo shop. Ah, Kirby's 30th anniversary. They really need to make Air Ride 2. But I know they won't, because we're some of the only people who actually liked it. Choo, 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 choo. Two postcards, please. Oh, yes! <laughs> Library card memes from Arthur are the best. <laughs> they liked it. Oh, good. These people did have a childhood. Do, 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 do. Hey, Sid. Alright, let's go and mail the postcards. Guard earring! Oh boy, I love guard earrings! Oath Keeper! Ooh, that could be a good keyblade! <gasps> it's even better than- well, it doesn't have as much reach as one Wing Angel, but it is stronger. <laughs> or, but- it, oh. There we go. Goofy's like, oh boy! Okay, gotta get Genie in Wonderland. That's a gotta have. Oh, and also because we have high jump now, we can skip a lot of Wonderland as well. At least for checking specific things. Oh boy, a postcard. Oh, are you having cake? Not quite. And at this point, yeah, we may as well trigger the, the card tower fight. We have two pieces of evidence. Okay, I think the one on the far left fell first. There we go, yep. Not that it really matters, we're gonna destroy this fight. I would normally say cake sounds good, but I have donuts, so... We don't need it. Yeah. 
We are not supposed to have strength this high in Wonderland. <laughs> Well, we still leveled up from that, which is interesting. <laughs> oh no, Alice got kidnapped. Put by the bees. There you go, Mr. Flower. She's not dumb, she's curious. Alice is one of my favorite Disney protagonists. Part of it is she's got the very sweet British voice. Oh, nice one, Donald. Donald, oh, do Donald and Goofy, Donald and Goofy have the same amount of MP? How is this illegal? <laughs> All right, Marty. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, every once in a while, you also get. Someone with, I'll say, not a great British voice. I don't know, there's a lot of, like, maybe the, it was, I think it's maybe the Cockney accent, which, like, doesn't sound as appealing. I am biased, though. Because, yeah. Wait, whoa, wait, do, we do, boo. That creepy guy from Pinocchio had a Cockney accent. I blame him. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend it. <sighs> to this day, the creepiest thing I've ever seen slash experienced. And I've seen Doki Doki. That's all you need. Yeah. Oh, yes, we got Simba. <laughs> That's all you need. Just watch the first, like, half hour to 45 minutes. That's all you need. Ooh, I I will say though. Mm. I will say Watership Down is also super duper creepy kids movie. And yes, I say kids movie because it was rated G. I have no idea how the cuss that got rated G. <laughs> Watership Down. Yeah, it's a, I think it was like the first fully animated British uh, film. It's it's about a bunch of uh, bunnies who are moving from their home to a new one. Sounds really cute, right? Uh, no, dead wrong. It it is super violent, <laughs> like super violent. And like, I ha I still haven't seen the full movie. I've seen a lot of the scenes though. I've seen a lot of the scenes, and I'm like, if I saw this as a kid, it would have traumatized me. I already know because it uh, it unnerved me right now. Oh yeah, you've got but one of the scenes is literally like the main villain is like this giant super creepy rabbit. He literally rips another rabbit's throat out on screen. Blood and everything. This was not a gory discretion shot. No. It it's full. <laughs> Again, rated G for general audiences. No idea how. <laughs> they apparently didn't watch it. Wow, we got Genie! I dream of Genie. He's a light blue Genie. That is how every single person reacted to that. You know why? Because the censors probably just saw the cover and were like, Oh, look, it's an anime movie with cute bunnies. It can't be that bad. <laughs> Harry Potter 6 was rated PG. <laughs> Honestly, though, the throat ripping scene probably wasn't even the creepiest one. The creepiest scene was probably the weird flashback where all the rabbits get gassed to death. You heard me. Not making that up. It That happens. 
They get gassed to death, yeah. It is exceedingly disturbing. Like, dear lord, do not look it up. That is actually kind of accurate. Bunny Holocaust movie. A little bit. Not entirely inaccurate. It's just a very- it's a different kind of disturbing. It's like, do you- are you disturbed by, like, lots of blood, gore, and violence? Or are you disturbed by, like, super psychological stuff? There's all kinds of horror. It's fascinating. Also, I don't like horror. <laughs> DDLC is the exception. Okay. I haven't been paying attention to what I've been picking up. I got a new Ansem report somewhere. Ansem report 4. Destiny Islands has a coconut. Uh, the dungeon has an emblem piece. Oh, Hunter Echo Wood has Tinkerbell. <laughs> we actually are going to want that. Drinking water in chamber free. Che Goofy's cheer is Dumbo. Uh, torn page in the ship cabin. Colosseum Gates has high jump. Well, we should probably head back there. Oh yeah, uh, just just give it. Just give me a good ratatouille. Mm. Let's just stick with ratatouille. That's such a good, light-hearted, fun, hilarious movie. You know, I watch I watch movies to enjoy myself. Mega elixir. Okay. Boing, boing. Oh wait, that's not the chest. Okay, so we need Blue Trinity in order to get the chest. Nobody you know likes Ratatouille. I know, your boyfriend doesn't like Ratatouille, which makes me a little sad. Cause Ratatouille's such a good movie. All right, let's let's get Simba. Oh darn it, I didn't get the safe point in the. I thought I got the safe point in the accessory shop. Guess not. Ugh, creep the fairy godmother is kind of creepy in this. It's the eye. Like, look at her eyes. She looks dead inside. She really looks dead inside. Sorry, but I call him like I see him. It is a quirky movie. And you do, you do have to get over the psychological fact of it's rats in a kitchen. That's, that, that part's not going away. Alright, let's go to Monstro. <laughs> I can do magic, but can't fix my emptiness. <laughs> she wasn't that way in the original PS2 version. At least, I, maybe, maybe she was, but I just don't remember because the graphics weren't as good. I felt like they updated, like, the quality. <laughs> okay, that's that's a lot more understanding. Fantastic Mr. Fox is very much a you-love-it-or-you-hate-it movie, and I totally get it. Again, I've, I've explained it before. That is a movie I cannot explain why it is funny, but I find it incredibly funny. Oh, Wallace and Gromit is just great, great, <laughs> great British humor, though. <laughs> but, like, not vulgar. <laughs> It's fantastic. Let's see. If he tried the movie, the movie is not British. The movie was DreamWorks and American humor. I'm just crackers about cheese. Which one, Marty? There's more than one. Are you talking the movie? Are you talking a close shave? Matter of loaf and death? Okay, it's he's not talking the first two. He's not talking Grand Day Out or Brawn Trousers. Those are not creepy. Alright. Yeah, Matter of Wolf and Death was pretty dark. Uh, 
Okay, if you don't like claymation and you can't get past it, then yeah, it's hard to get past Wallace and Gromit. If he wants to stir... Well, actually, was Coraline wasn't claymation. I think it was just stop motion. I've only seen Matter of Wolf and Death once. It was good. I, I don't put it on the quality of the other Wallace and Gromits, though. Rolling Trousers still reigns supreme. Oh, yeah. I, I still don't know how I got talked into giving Coraline a try, but I'm not seeing that one again. Alright, off to Chamber 5. Oh, yeah, I have Stun Impact. I just haven't used it yet. Because I'm killing these guys too quickly. And air combos are just flat out better. <laughs> Man, my magic is weak, though. I should equip Diamond Dust. Eh, maybe. Actually, maybe not. I do love this high physical strength. Oh, high search ghosts. Alright, these guys aren't going away. We'll have to deal with them. It's like internet trolls. You just have to address them, and then they go away. <laughs> You just have to logically explain your points, and then they'll they'll respect you and leave you alone. Because that's the best way of getting people to change their mind. Internet comment sections. And Twitter. <laughs> that's true. Monstro's belly does not actually look like a whale's belly, because that probably wouldn't have... Actually, <laughs> unlike the people who raided Watership Down... The ESRB wouldn't stand for that. <laughs> Did that guy just belly flop off a cliff? I do declare, I think he did. Nice. Did. Oh no, that was Goofy. I'm like, did Donald just solo him? No, Goofy soloed him. That makes a lot more sense. Wee! Chamber 4 is where we need to go, but so that's not where I'm actually going to go. <laughs> Alright, we're having Julia's fir uh, like sixth birthday party at the local la laser tag rink, Monstro's Belly. Ooh, tech boost! I like that. Uh, what do I unequip, though? Eh, I don't care that much. Actually, wait, we have an AP boost, don't we? No, we don't. I used it. Uh, no, the platforming was bad all the way back in Dusty Islands when you're trying to race Riku. Which, I still have a very large percentage of losing that race. Especially in the randomizer, where for some reason they decide to make the race go at twice the speed. And also, you can't use Super Glide in the race. Even if you have it. Whee! There's kind of a fat lot of nothing in Monstro right now. I <laughs> guess we're naming it the Highland. <laughs> They would- I think it is canonical. It is canonical that Sora loses that race, because in every new Kingdom Hearts game, it's by default named the High Wind. That's what the blueprint name is. Okay, Wooden Sword is super OP! <laughs> wow, the Wooden Sword has the highest strength stat and gives me plus two MP. Okay, yeah, we're using this one. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> That's the randomizer! <laughs> yeah, Wooden Sword, super OP. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Wood is good. I think we still need to go to Chamber Free, but that's okay. We can double back later. Let's beat Parasite Cage. Deep in the bowels of Monstro. <laughs> Let's summon Genie. And they sped up summon animations, which is great. Uh, yeah, the Deku Sticks do have the same power as the Master Sword, Marty. Would have been faster to just chop him to death with the Wooden Sword, actually. <laughs> Donald fires one fireball. I'm happy! <laughs> Oh yeah, Pinocchio was so obnoxious in that fight. And we get Dumbo. Well, once we hand him over to the Fairy Godmother, we get Dumbo. <laughs> do 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 do. Monster's music is surprisingly catchy, though. All right. Without Glide, getting that green Trinity chest is gonna be annoying. Oh, hey, there's the Navigummy. We can go to End of the World now, folks. So if we wanted, we could charge straight to the final boss, but uh, at level 24, we would get our butts kicked. So we definitely need some better equipment. I haven't gotten, like, really any stuff that boosts my MP that are accessories, except for, like, the one EXP ring, and I think the Magic Armlet. But nothing that boosts it by two. A cottage. Hip hip. A pretty stone. Uh, did I get that one over there? I think I did. My, my memory is going. I literally can't remember if we went up here to the, get this chest. Okay, yeah, we did. When do we get Glide? Okay, here's the Fiend Nintendo Addict. Even at level 1, I still have more stuff than I do right now. I've done some grinding out. Like, I, I'm a, in my level 1 playthrough, I have all of the magic spells. I have accessories that can boost my MP to an obscene level. I have every summon. I don't have a lot of that here. So even even if I did use the level one strats, I'm still not strong enough. Also, I don't particularly want to do level one more than once. Oh yeah, treasure chest here. Defense up. Do 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 do. Okay, why is it so hard to jump on the roof of Geppetto's ship? He's like, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Geppetto, could you put a ladder here instead? No, I'm too busy making fish. Ansem, report two. Uh, Ansem's report nine became Fion, volume six. I have no idea where that normally is. Lift stop has an emblem piece, and... Uh, yep, we already got high jump in the bizarre room. Actually, no, we didn't! We did not get high jump in the bizarre room. Oh, that's probably in the, uh, the fireplace. And yes, we already have high jump, but if we get more than one high jump, we get a super high jump, which can sequence break a lot of stuff. So I would like to get more than one. But let's finish up Monstro so we can get a new magic spell. Oh yeah, and if you get, if you get more than one super glide, you super glide super fast. All right. Let's see how Wooden Sword fares against this guy.
super duper glide. Okay, well, yeah, we're melting him. Man, I am digging Goofy with evolution. He can just pop a Mega Potion for free every now and then. Alright, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> okay, we're stronger than I thought. Our strength stat is way higher than it should be just because of the equipment we have. Oh my gosh, we finally got Cure. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Monstro. Now the only magic spell we still need to get is a uh, gravity, and then we can just upgrade the rest. Oh shoot, I forgot to get all the stuff in Chamber Free. Well, that's okay. Who want to go back to Agrabah? Not right now. However, I will go to Wonderland, because there's some chests we can get here now. I also learned about free chests that I did not even know existed in the game, because they are really well hidden. So, in that room, if you go for these doors, and then go back in, don't know why you would ever do this, but if you do this, Heartless will appear in the room. Now, most people who do this would just be like, oh, okay, I'll just go to the Queen's Castle safe point instead, but if you actually kill all the Heartless... Chest appears. You can do this three times. For three different chests. And beware when you do it the, uh... Oh. Before we go any further, let's customize Cure. Kingdom Hearts 1 has so many, like, weird secrets. Which is, like, w makes you wonder why they even bothered putting a lot of these in. I think it's kind of cool that they did. But it does make me wonder why they bothered doing it. Good lord, Goofy. <laughs> oh, yuck! Oh, I'm super... <laughs> I think Goofy's default shield must give him plus two or three MP. Like, that has to be the only explanation, because Goofy does not normally get MP this much. Yep, we have Hollow Bastion enemies here now. But this also means they give us a lot of EXP. I hate these wizard enemies. Ouch. Thanks, Goofy. This is so weird fighting these enemies in Wonderland. It feels wrong. Oh, Goofy got the stout shield! It's the same, but with one less MP. But it also is bigger, so we can parry stuff more. But, eh, I'll take one extra MP, please. Okay, high jump's gotta be in the fireplace. There we go, yes! So now, yoink! That's a much higher high jump than I'm sure a lot of you are used to. It's higher than I'm used to. Alright. Um, let's try Neverland. Let's see if we can uh, beat Anti-Sora. Sora runs in, plain make-believe pirate with his sword, but then just BOOM! 
die everything. <laughs> Ouch! How dare you! <laughs> Go play hero with this. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, we can kill Riku with the wooden sword. Oh, we actually... Yeah, we gotta do that. <laughs> We've gotta do that. That would be hilarious. That's the wrong way, Sora. Here we go. We don't even need the ladder. We can just jump up with our two high jumps. Alright, let's see how anti-Sora fares. No dodge roll for this fight will actually be quite annoying. Oh, I, I also probably should have taken off stun impact. Although we're doing a lot of damage to him. I will land. Our strength is absurdly high. Actually, this... That almost looped him. My right, lands. Yeah, he definitely still hurts, but yeah, he doesn't even two-shot us. Boom! Shakalaka, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that fight was actually quite easy. So what do we get instead of the Raven's Claw? We get tech boost. Can I equip some of those tech boosts? Oh, I forgot to get... I forgot to get Dumbo. Ooh, tech boost. Tech boost. We also have guard. And counterattack. That's... That's great. Oh, Donald can't equip MP haste. Uh-oh. Okay, Goofy. Equip MP rage, please, and lucky strike. Not tornado. I want all of your MP going towards evolution. Although, admittedly... <laughs> Tornado is a pretty good uh, move for Goofy. Not as good as MP Gift, though. Once Goofy learns MP Gift, it's all over. <laughs> Alright, Peter Pan. Oh, yes, a Torn Page. We have at least two of those now. I think we have three of them, actually. So we can do Poo Swing and get a Magic Upgrade, actually. Donald, you already burned through some of your MP by doing that. Like, are, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's a gift of Donald's. Quite a codfish, that, Riku! <laughs> you think he's a codfish, Hook? Have you looked in the mirror yet? How dare you! <laughs> Yeah, you'll notice stun impact is triggering 100% of the time, whereas normally it's only a 30% chance. That's another thing that the randomizer can fix. I was about to be like, actually, because we don't have glide, we don't even have the ability to fly. No, you can fly in Neverland even without the glide ability. <laughs> Or 
was the pirate ship? That's that was weird. Only only one of the enemies actually spawned when they were supposed to. <laughs> That's funny. Stop flying in a circle. Take that. Doggone it, the Neverland battle music is so good. So good. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna peace out, Hook. <laughs> Captain Hook's like, I'll kill you! He's like, nah, I think we'll go back to the save point. Alright. Do do. Ooh, we have Stoppera now. That's what we learned on the, uh, the pirate ship. Cool. Alright. Let's, let's stop whoop Captain Hook. <laughs> Alright, Hook, where are you? There he is. Oh, dog on it. That's annoying when you. There we go. Okay, our MP's not quite high enough to reliably do the stop loop, but that's okay. You'll not get me other hand! Okay. Hook's going crazy. Here, Hook, follow me! Oh. <laughs> and Goofy got MP gift! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all over. <laughs> Peter Pan just froze him out. <laughs> Alright, off to the clock tower. MP gift, yeah. MP gift Goofy with 6 M max MP. It's kind of disgusting. Alright. Evolution's been fun, Goofy, but MP gift and MP rage call. Whee! Oh yeah, we're 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 in a good position now. <laughs> Slide four. Also, I, I don't think there's much point in going to uh, Halloween Town because we won't be able to progress in Halloween Town until we can go to the end of the world. Actually, we can go to the end of the world now. Technically, we can, but I'm pretty sure the Invisible Heartless are still going to kick our butts. Maybe if we can get a Roga, we can we stand a chance. But that's a maybe. I think at this point... Oh. Okay, we do still need to have Sid install the Navagummy. Yeah, we can do that. Also, when are we going to get the logs? Because <laughs> we still need two logs in order to for Kyrie. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. The Shiva belt, plus two MP. That's worth losing two strength over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Shiva belt is really good. Do, 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 do. Thanks, Sid. Alright. Oh, can we synthesize more stuff? Let's get the Proterra chain. I am not you giving up my wooden sword for the EXP bracelet. No way, no how. I will give up the dream sword, though. 
Because we can always make another. Okay. Yes, let's make that. Yes, let's make that. Yes, let's make that. Can we synthesize more? <laughs> no. Alright. That's fine. I think the wooden sword is still by far the best. Yeah, no, the, the wooden sword is literally the best at everything, so... <laughs> no point. Oh, <laughs> Silver Mallet gives Donald plus free MP. <laughs> yes, please. And yeah, Night Shield is just the best. <laughs> I do believe that's good... Almost good game. Oh, before we head out, though... Geppetto's house now opens... <laughs> Look at Donald's MP bar! That just skyrocketed! <laughs> That's disgusting! Also, Geppetto's... Uh, <laughs> I just murdered Pinocchio. <laughs> Geppetto's blueprints also do not get randomized. Alright, another postcard. They did a good job with uh, making Geppetto's house blend in well with his actual house in the movie and with the overall feel of Traverse Town. That's well done on their part. Fire Gun Band! Oh good, we don't have any of those. <laughs> I, I literally gave two to Aladdin, and he's just... We didn't do anything with it. So new warp hole in Traverse Town! Um, I'm gonna go to Hollow Bastion. There's at least a bit we can do. Plus, there's some stuff. Oh, darn it. I forgot to... Forgot to give Dumbo to the fairy godmother. That's okay. In the randomizer, you can leave Hollow Bastion in the middle before you reunite with Donald and Goofy. Donald and Goofy might leave us, but th we still have the key to the gummy ship. I mean, you say that, but Dumbo is actually quite useful in Hollow Bastion, mainly for sequence breaking. With Dumbo, you can skip, like, a huge part of the end. Ooh, the Rama Belt. It's no Shiva Belt, but... Puppies! Still no dodge roll or glide. It worries me somewhat. Dodge roll's nice to have just for movement, and glide is, well, glide. It's very good. <laughs> I am finding thousands of money, though. I will be able to get a good mortgage on my house, but I'm not going to be able to fly to it. <laughs> There's usually more than one dodge roll, though. That's another thing. You can have more dodge rolls, and if you have two dodge rolls, it actually makes the dodge roll better. You can basically just spam dodge roll endlessly. It's fun. Yeah, that's right. Dodge roll is an end of the... One of them is an end of the world. If I can get a Roga, then I will go to the end of the world. Because a Roga will help greatly with helping me survive it. Because it basically will reflect the blasts that the Invisibles and Angel Stars will throw at me. Plus, just giving me great protection. We got everything, yep. Alright, off to the castle gates. Also, the wooden sword turned into the ultimate weapon. Just realized that. We can, we're gonna re-equip the wooden sword, though, because, like, duh. Also, with two high jumps, uh, you can you can get places in Hollow Bastion you're not supposed to. <laughs> it's fun. It's even more fun if you have glide and or super glide. You can play hero with this Ultima weapon. It's, wow, thanks, Riku. No, 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 it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> In this in this world, the Ultima weapon is a joke weapon, and the wooden sword is the Ultima weapon. I 
Unfortunately, no matter what weapon we have at this point, we still will not be able to really hurt the Heartless. So it's actually like an internal game flag that determines whether you can damage the Heartless or not, not the actual weapon you're using. Dream Shield. I hope this is actually very bad. Okay, it's stronger than the Wooden Sword, but it's worse MP. It's really bad if the Dream Shield is your best weapon, because it has, like, no reach at all. Which actually does really make it dumb. Yeah, it's hard-coded until you reach the Dark Riku fight. Thank you, Beast. Beast can just destroy concrete with his bare hands. Oh, wait, shoot. That's not Thunder. gonna kill people just by running into them with arrow. Thank you, beast. Oh boy, there's the emblem piece. And a fire gun ban. <laughs> I am getting a lot of fire gun bans. I'm gonna make Donald strength based. I don't think there's a liter I think there's literally zero point in making Donald strength based. <laughs> I don't think like it makes a lick of difference. <laughs> when you're hot, you <laughs> Yeah. Also, okay. There is a portion of this dungeon area, so I can see clearly, if you look through here, there is a switch behind this gate. See? And there. I have absolutely no idea how to reach it. I'm not even sure if you can reach it or if it does anything. But dear lord, like, it's tantalizing me. I have I have no idea where that leads. <laughs> and if it leads somewhere that's necessary in a randomizer, well, I'm screwed. Rats. Strike Raid, still weak. Beast, I need you to carry me, okay? Uh -oh. Alright, there we go. Thank you. I forgot to rob Beast of his uh, equipment. Actually, Beast can keep his potions. That I'm fine with that. Shoot. Meant to stock that, but that's okay. Gulp, gulp. Drink an elixir. Head back to the castle gates. <laughs> Actually, no. Before I go any further, we're getting Dumbo. Put, I've put it off long enough. We're getting Dumbo. Thank you. I'll go to 100 Acre Wood later. Because we can get a magic spell and potentially Tinkerbell. I'm, I, don't, I don't feel confident going to the final boss until we get Eroga and ideally a Cure upgrade. Because right now we just have Cure, which... Well, I guess at this point we don't have very much HP, so that's, I guess, okay. <laughs> but hopefully our HP bar... <laughs> Our HP bar is only that big, and this is while I have Omega Arts equipped. And Omega Arts increases your HP by a lot, so I actually have very little HP. <laughs> my strength is unparalleled, but my HP, not so much. All right, Riku. Let's see what you got. Yeah, this fight is terribly designed. <laughs> oh, I really I should unequip stun impact. It's not even a very it's not even very good. 
And it's really bad against bosses. Oh, what a surprise! Donald died really quickly. Alright, Strike Raid eats Froom. Goofy can do a lot of damage as well. First I thought Riku dropped those on his own, but no, I just realized I shattered a pot to get those. Strike Raid! <laughs> Die! Oh boy, we got a second scan! And more HP! <laughs> Two scans does not do anything, in case people are wondering. I'm, ju I'm I am glad the randomizer made the change that your first level up always gives you scan. Okay, well, Yellow Trinity is behind Hercules Cup. That's a bit annoying. And I'm pretty sure we can do nothing in here, because we can't... Well, we can at least get the power up, but... We don't have any books. And even with two high jumps, we aren't we can't jump high enough to get over the bookshelves. Now, it's possible with two high jumps if we hit the lightning like uh, stone up at the top. Then maybe we can make the elevators appear. But I don't know exactly where the lightning Oh, I think it's up there actually. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, I guess this is as far as we go in Hollow Bastion. We don't have all four emblem pieces, I'm quite sure. We have two. We have three. Oh, we have four torn pages? Oh, okay. Four torn pages, we're going to 100 Acre Wood. We don't have all of them, but we can go through all but one of the rounds. Which means we can get a magic spell, and we can almost certainly get Tinkerbell. And hey, Tinkerbell's gonna be good. Hello, Winnie the Pooh. Let's find some honey together. Another thing I'm going to do is... What Keyblade has the longest reach? One-Winged Angel. I'm equipping One-Winged Angel. Just for the, uh... Keep the bees away from Pooh and the Tigger's Big Pot game. More reach is better for those. It's Winnie the Pooh Bear's house. Pooh also just has an elixir hanging out. He's like, oh, bother. I have no honey, only elixirs. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I do like what they've done to speed up a lot of the games. I just really hate what they did for Pooh Swain. Because Pooswain is already pretty precise to get the uh, proper distance you need for the high score, but here I I swear it's not possible with the to get the best possible score. Well, I guess worst case I can always reset the Lewis script without speeding up this stuff. Yes, Owl, I know how to play this game. Keep the bees away. Let Pooh eat all the honey. Ah! 
<laughs> I have the fire keyblade from Sephiroth to take out bees. Riveting gameplay. I know Hundred Acre Wood is everybody's favorite world in the whole game. I know it's mine. <laughs> I love Hundred Acre Wood and Kingdom Hearts 2. In Kingdom Hearts 1, the minigames are um, somewhat lackluster. Ironically, Pooswing is the only one I really like. And they ruined it in the randomizer. <laughs> Now it should just be looping these bees over and over again until Pooh gets 100 points. 100 is the maximum score that you need to get the prize, so once you hit 100 points, the game just ends, instead of you having to run out the clock. Yep, there we go. Well done, Pooh. Ooh, Goofy learned MP Rage, even though he's not here. I love that. That'll go great with his 6 MP. Hi, Rabbit. I come in peace. Just ignore the fact that I'm carrying a large, dangerous-looking weapon. <laughs> Sora's walk looks so weird when it's sped up. Hi, Rabbit. I feel bad for you, but we have to let Pooh rob you of your honey. Hi. <laughs> I'm new here. <laughs> You're all out of honey. Ridiculous, Rabbit. I can see some right up there. <laughs> Rabbit can be obnoxious, but I feel bad for him. I relate to him deeply. He just wants to be left alone and do his own thing, and nobody will let him. Plus, uh, pretty much everybody is a complete and utter nuisance to Rabbit. Looking at you, Tigger. How will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? <laughs> that was fast, Rabbit. Okay, this minigame freaking sucks. It's not especially difficult, but man, is it poorly programmed. It's like, you must use the rush command. It's like, the rush command only has maybe a 50% chance of appearing. And even if you rush, there's probably like a 10% chance that it just doesn't work. But thankfully, it's very lenient with the score you need. So. Thank goodness for small favors. All right, Tigger. Yeah, like, look at that. I was standing right beneath Tigger, and it's like he still crushed the carrot somehow. Yeah, like, look, like, the rush command kind of appeared, but it wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> rush, and then just face the direct... The <laughs> Tigger just jumped right on my face. <laughs> Tigger's like, this is my favorite game. It's called Stomp on All of Rabbit's Carrots. <laughs> okay, yeah, we we destroyed that game. 16 times block, 224. I think that's like almost five times the, the high score that we need. <laughs> Just a little push. Okie dokie. <laughs> Sorry, Rabbit. Ooh. Ooh, 
Oh my gosh, we got Mushu. <laughs> that was worth doing. <laughs> oh man, if we spec for MP, Mushu's going to obliterate the endgame bosses. Here we go, Eeyore. <laughs> Here's Owl with the... Uh-oh. <laughs> I should save. Just in case it crashes. Alright, Pooh, follow me. We are hugging this side, so that way you don't get distracted by the honey. <laughs> it's not it's not as bad as GBA Chain of Memories, uh, 100 Acre Wood, where Pooh is like, oh, a butterfly, I must stop everything, and you just have to, like, mash the wave button. I love Ch GBA Chain of Memories, but the 100 Acre Wood in that game sucks. <laughs> but thankfully, you can literally skip the entire thing if you want. Alright, Pooh Swain. Normally my favorite minigame, but it's way too fast in Randomizer. Way too fast. But I'm not here to try to get the high score. Okay, I... Th I thought I did that with perfect timing, and yet apparently it's like, nope, you sucked. Because I swear, speeding it up completely messes up the timing. I think if Poo flew one meter further, he would have landed on the house. There we go. Eeyore found his tail, but he lost his house. Was it really worth it? You decide. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, good, we got a cure upgrade. That's great. Okay, Kira should be all we really need for healing for the rest of the game. But if we if we do get Kiraga, I won't be upset. All right, this should have the treasure trove. This is where Tinkerbell should be located. <laughs> I will get out of here. You're not the tutorial guy anymore on bouncing. All right, I there is one bounce uh, that I always screw up. I'll let you know when we get to it. But I swear, I freaking always mess up the bounces. <laughs> Tigger definitely did a mid-air jump there. What's the point of speeding it up if we still have to wait for the... <laughs> yeah, things get messed up a little bit. Okay, so that one's easy. <laughs> Rue's like, just do this! Uh, 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 uh. Wow. <laughs> Did Rue jump inside of the pot? Because all of a sudden the camera cut to inside the giant pot. I, th I think he did. Living on the edge, not necessarily moving the camera. <laughs> okay. 
This is the one I always miss. Jumping from the branch onto that stump. Hey, well, Tigger missed it too. I freaking... I always screw this up first try. Always. Okay. Oh, what did I... Yes, yeah, literally every time. I don't think I've ever gotten that on my first try. Like, even once. I either overshoot it or undershoot it. <laughs> Cheating is to what Tiggers do best. Wee! Okay. Second try, maybe? Okay, yeah. I usually get it second try. First try, I can never get that jump. Okay. Now for the big one. This is where it helps to have a keyblade with all in range. I still don't really know what determines how many points you get. I think it's how high up the seed is, or the apple is when you hit it. But there we go. Best score. Okay. Now let's find out where Tinkerbell went. Open the chest. Also, super high jump can uh, break the area a little bit. This chest here, am I missing... Because this is either the most precise jump in the entire world, or, like, you need to do something in order to, like, destroy the spider web for... But, nope, it's just the most precise jump in the entire world. Also wish you could carry more than one rare nut at a time. Yeah, like, no matter what we do, we can't pick up that rare nut until we give this one to Owl. I think our high jump is quite high jumpy enough to get there. Uh, well, high jump definitely helps us navigate. Okay, the camera could be a lot better, but uh, we can work with it. Okay, yes, bounce off the tree branches like they're made of metal. Yes, that, that makes perfect sense. We... We <laughs> Okay, here we go. Things I do for these freaking rare nuts, man. Okay, that was the last one, but there's still a treasure chest. Yes, over here. Oop. There's Tinkerbell. Good. If she wasn't there, then I would have had to go all the way to the end of the Hundred Acre Wood. And that would not have been much fun. And we get Dark Matter from the Hundred Acre Wood. Makes sense. Okay. That's right, we do have Blue Trinity now. Uh oh! 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 No, no, I don't like the game lagging. Game lagging means bad. All right, well let's turn Mu. Let's get Mushu now. There we 
we go. Now that we have blue tree, all right. Olympus Coliseum, there are the two chests in the main room, and then we can clear the preliminaries and do the fill cup. Because we got a lot of MP now. <laughs> Free high jumps. <laughs> a boing! <laughs> Would have made sense if we got free high jumps from the Tigger minigame. Alright. I would I'd rather have had a glide, to be honest. Yeah, we also don't need the entry the entry pass to do the preliminaries. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I still have the wrong Keyblade equipped. I should have equipped the sword. Should have equipped the wooden sword. Oh, well. Donald has enough. And we're still plenty strong to get for the preliminaries. <laughs> Wrecked. Donald, you didn't do that. I did that. <laughs> well, it's more just with this, without the MP boost. I'm actually no. It's the preliminaries. I, I can thunder. I can thunder spam for every round because there's only like seven rounds, and the last one is cloud. Man, no dodge rolls mess me up. So used to having dodge roll. Oh yeah. Okay. One last wave, and then we have Cloud. Doggone it! I hate it when Goofy uses MP gift at the very end of the round, because then he loses the MP, but you don't get the MP. He's like, I recognize that Keyblade. <laughs> Gotta keep going. <laughs> no, not Dream Shield. Wooden Sword. Yes, Wooden Sword. Also, we have a lot of stat boosts that we got in the Hundred Acre Wood. Don't need another scan, that's okay. Okay, we're gonna unequip Stun Impact, because that ain't doing me any good. Eh, Combo Plus ain't that good right now, anyways. We'll re-equip Treasure Magnet, though. Alright, Cerberus should be a joke. Because we have Mushu! <laughs> well, not just because we have Mushu, but Mushu will make this very easy. Give me strength. I strike with my wooden sword and summon the Dragon of Chaos! Ouch. There we go. Bye, Cerberus. <laughs> I would still love another Shiva belt. That would be pretty nice. Oh, Cloud, why are you so sad? <laughs> Thanks for the Mega Potion. <laughs> it 
Yes, uh, no, there's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. I can... That's another change the randomizer does. As soon as you clear the preliminaries, you can do any of the cups or any of the matches. Don't have to unlock them, so we can go right to the Sephiroth fight if we want. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't have a death wish. Fill cup! I want that magic spell. Any questions? <laughs> Another great change that they made is after you clear the main cup, it's really easy to- the, both the solo cup and the time trial are like, all you have to do is the first wave, and then it'll just say you won. Which is great. Yeah! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> this kid enters with a wooden sword and is just obliterating the competition. It's like Samson and his long hair. Like, what is the secret to your strength? <laughs> if I wield a sword that's not made of wood, then I, then I will, like, lose all my strength. <laughs> I love it when Donald's staff is so tall you can't even see the end of it when he does that pose. Oh, thanks, Donald. Oh, no. The hard hitters. Wow, nice one, Donald. <laughs> Another problem, Donald's HP bar is almost the same as Goofy's. Just like how Goofy's MP bar was almost the same as Donald's at one point. Bada beam, bada boom. Get out of here. All right, fill cup easy. Kind of hoping for an arrow upgrade. And we got... Oh! We got gravity! That also is good. Gravity helps for the final boss in the final areas. Yeah, so we just kill the first wave as Solo Sora, and then it'll say we win the cup. Oh boy, we get Mermaid Kick! Now we can do Atlantica if we want. Except Atlantica is another one of those worlds where, like, you think you might think with Mermaid Kick you can skip all of it. Nope, you have to go for all of the flags in the world. It's so it's so dumb. Thunder. Oh boy, dark matter. All right, I think we will also try the Hercules Cup because Hercules Cup we get Yellow Trinity at the end, which gives us another magic spell in Neverland. And also, we get a couple of checks for the Hercules Cup. <laughs> yep. All of the Heartless congratulate you when you clear all of these solo cups. Oh yeah, the White Knights are kind of tough. One Thunder ain't gonna take him out. Dude, imagine beating Sephiroth with the wooden sword. That would be hilarious. <laughs> what Keyblade? <laughs> you don't have no Keyblade. Sora doesn't even need the Keyblade to be the chosen hero. Maybe, Donald, next time, wait for them to actually not be teleporting to use Thunder. Take 
Oof. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about the rare truffle. Easiest fight in the Coliseum. That's, I've always wondered what was the point of having a rare truffle in the Olympus Coliseum, because they can't drop anything valuable for you anyways. Okay, I actually kind of want my party members to die here. Because if so, I can loop Cloud very easily. Okay. Well, okay. All right, Claude put up actually a fight. Thankfully, I have second chance, otherwise I would... Oh, hey, wow, Vanilla Metal Chocobo. That is very unlikely. That is literally extremely unlikely for a Vanilla Metal Chocobo to appear there. <laughs> no. Ha, you fool, I have level 3 high jump. You can't fly out of my vision. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? You fool, Sora put Flubber on his shoes. That is canon now. Sora went to the Flubber world. Boing? What the heck? <laughs> Sora joins the NBA. Oh yeah, Hercules. Gotta do him one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, you pumped yet? <laughs> Thank you. It's my secret is the wooden sword. <laughs> nice catch, Hercules. Oh, yeah, that was a really fast Jerkules fight. <laughs> oh, boy, Dark Matter. Wow, and I didn't even hold back! <laughs> Yellow Trinity. Nice. <laughs> and we get nothing. Fine by me. We're off to Neverland. <laughs> I think my magic is as good as Donald's now. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> do 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 do. All right, see you, Nintendo Addict. Have a nice nap. All right, come on. There are no enemies around. I can't lock on to any enemies. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Makes sense for Captain Hook to have money in his pirate ship. Choo-choo! Alright, yes. This cabin door. Oh, 
There's dodge roll. Oh, that's very nice. Another emblem piece. We're just missing one. Defense up, and then what magic spell is in here? It's gonna say it's arrow. But is it actually? Uh, we got... Ah, uh, what did we get? Oh, we got a Funder upgrade! Oh, nice! I love Fundara. Very nice. White Trinity. Oh boy, seventy money. <laughs> I could eat at Taco Bell with that. Dream Sword? Oh, we've already had Dream Sword, haven't we? But now we have it again. Oh, that's Dream Shield. Oh, Dream... That's right, Dream Sword is worse than the Dream... Than the Wooden Sword in every single way. Boo. Okay, where can we go now? I'm gonna... What, what's at the Traverse Town shop? I really wish that there was a shop or... Something in the Synthesis area that sold Shiva Belts or Royal Crowns. Or Cosmic Arts. All of those would be great. Very welcome. Some more puppies. Oh, hey, an emblem piece that is there for sale. Okay, that's the stone statue emblem piece. Is that... Do I have one of those? Because they are different. Treasure chest, blue flame. Okay, we do have the stone statue emblem piece, so... That's not one that we need. Fantasista, though. I will try that. That's a good staff for Donald, potentially. XP rings? Sure. Why not? I'm just gonna load up my party members with XP rings. <laughs> Donald has even more MP now. I think. Okay, he sells ribbons, mystery goos. Oh, I don't have either of those Ansem reports. Sure, I'll buy those. Alright, we have that. Oh, we got rope. Uh, yep, I know all that. Maleficent has a fish. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess that's kind of okay to know. You can just jump to the second floor. I am not using up my wooden sword. No way, no how. Oh, and we learn Encounter Plus. Can I synthesize a Royal Crown or a Shiva Belt? One-Winged Angel Nature Spark. No? Ooh. I will... Oh, wait, no, I want Nature Spark. That's Bambi. How much point in getting another Water Gleam? I 
I'm just trying to synthesize basic... Oh, it's just Mithril. Okay. Dream Shield does have a higher strength value, but has much lower MP, so... I generally err against that. Nope, Silver Mallet still has the highest MP count. Okay, the Dream Shield gives one extra MP, less strength. Goofy has 8 MP right now. Oh, man. Yeah. I think that's worth it. <laughs> Goofy's MP bar! What on earth? <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. We still need those logs, man. The logs have the power. There's some more stuff in Hollow Bastion we can get, actually, now that Donald and Goofy are in our party again. We never did get the White Trinity chest here. Good lord. Boing! <laughs> We also never got some of those extra chests down in the uh, dungeon slash waterway area. Did Donald just get another Fantasista that I just synthesized? He did. Oh well. Getting the beast because I need him to break open a, a door in this area. I do appreciate how Hollow Bastion actually has like legitimate puzzles in it. It's very unique in a, for a Kingdom Hearts world in that regard. Come over here, buddy. Okay. So I really thought Sora's magic would deal more damage than that. Come on. Should I just go all the way strength for Sora? I don't really want to equip the Dream Shield, though. <laughs> Dream Shield has literally no range. Although, having Goofy and I both carrying the Dream Shield would be kind of fun. Yeah, this is why I need Beast in the party. Boom! Oh boy, Mermaid Kick! <laughs> That'll also make you go a lot faster, if you have two of those equipped. We're actually all very high level. We're getting close to level 50. Hmm. You know, let's see what we can do in End of the World. Let's get equipped Gravity. Gravity's nice against these tough end game enemies. But I think most important thing will be Aurora. Okay, yeah. These guys are tough. In 
Invisible's just a relentless with their attacks, man. Some of the coolest looking enemies in Kingdom Hearts, but yeah, they're annoying to deal with. Okay, but this might be doable. Oh boy, a Mega Potion. One of these chests, I think, will have a, the dodge roll. Or no, one of these, I think, will have Jack in the Box. What? Why didn't my heal go off? Did he hit me like the frame before it was supposed to go off? Oh yeah, gravity hits so hard. Oh yeah, gravity's so good at the end game. <laughs> there you go, Donald. Up and at him. Oh boy, a Fyraga rain. We don't we definitely don't have more of those. <gasps> Alright, so there's our first glide. It said super glide, but whichever one you get first, it'll just be glide. That's nice. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, it's you! Hey, Goofy. How about giving me some MP? Oh yeah, look at how much damage gravity's doing to that guy. I would love slap shot. That would have been nice. Oh, hey, we got Ripple Drive. That could be good. If we had more MP. Ooh, Spellbinder. That could be a better Keyblade. Nope. It's worse. Alright, the Angel Stars in small numbers are not too bad. Actually, we might just be able to go for End of the World. <laughs> oh boy, a Mithril Shard. <laughs> Divine Rose Keyblade. Oh, I never check out Metal Chocobo, it's bad. Okay, Divine Rose is bad too. I think Wooden Sword is just the best. Which is hilarious. Oh, great! Desperation moves so soon!
Okay, there we go. We're getting a lot of experience from these guys, which is I'm a big fan of. I should equip Ripple Drive. That'll think I think will be a better ground finisher. An element rain. Nice. <laughs> uh should I equip Lower my strength by free Mmm. I think it might be worth it actually, especially if I equip Ripple Drive. <laughs> Donald is not looking too hot on the MP department. Oh boy, I can carry more items. Game enemies are not slaughtering me like I thought they were going to. Blizzard rain. Drive not as powerful as I thought it might be. Not as powerful as I thought it would be at all. Maybe I should go for a full on strength build, actually. <laughs> oh boy, there's my ever dodge roll. Yeah, I'm gonna... Well, okay, no, 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 I'm not... Goofy, you have an extra slot. Okay, I will re-equip the Omega Arts. Goofy, you're gonna equip that EXP rain, though. So that reduces my max MP by a bit. Not too bad, though. And I think we'll use a Cottage. We got a couple of those. Alright, Genie should be able to do the rest. Or maybe not, actually. Genie's damage is actually pretty random. right into one.
That was almost stupid. Cool. Take that. Do I get an Omega Arts out of that? Perhaps not. <laughs> Goofy, you're just gonna keep staring at me in a weird way? Or are we actually gonna progress? <laughs> ah, yes. The Great Crevasse. How do we even know who Ansem is, besides reading his reports, where he's like, I remember I hid the dodge roll ability over here. That's not Ansem. Megalixir, always nice to have. Part of me is debating just going an all-strength build for the final boss. Just equip everything that gives me the highest amount of strength. Oh no, not the Dream Shield. I'm not doing it with the Dream Shield. I don't think that's worth it. J just because of the n no range it has. There the lo there's the log! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, log. Now I can actually progress in Destiny Islands if I want to. Do do. End of the World is one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts worlds ever. It's in top five for sure. The atmosphere is unparalleled. Music is gorgeous. The world is really pretty. Enemies are dangerous and frightening, but also, like, really cool. And it has the best final boss. I know, Xemnas is an awesome final boss too, but... Ansem will always be my favorite. Mega Potion! Whee! Alright, is there another treasure chest in here? I think there's another fight you can do. Here we go. I hate how the angel stars can heal. The jewel just disappeared. Dark matter. Oh, thank goodness I went out of my way to get that. Oh, thank goodness. I think we'll save. And I actually think we're going to go to Destiny Islands, because now that we have the log, we can progress through there. Or we should be able to progress through there. Plus, we can get Bambi, who I will probably not use, even though he's my favorite. You see, I can dodge roll more quickly, because I have two of them equipped. Let's call it a day. How far can a raft take us? Not very. <laughs> That's the wrong music. <laughs> Why was he doing the dive into the heart music? Or maybe it was the end of the world music, I don't even know.
Wee. Hi, Kyrie. Oh, that's right, we have to talk to Riku. Yeah. What's the mushroom? Ansem's Report 1! We're gonna get three of those. There's the coconut! Here's Ansem's Report 1. Actually, we're gonna have four of those, because I think I synthesized that already. Okay. This is gonna be annoying. Riku's Race. Our raft still needs a name. I would name it... Let's see. Riku sucks! How about the usual? <laughs> we have to make sure the raft is named... The raft is named Riku sucks. But unfortunately, we have to do the raft... Do the race at twice the speed. And we can't dodge roll. Although, oh, okay. High jump, level 3. Actually, we can glide. Oh, no. 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 Jeez. Yes! We get the pretty stone, and now it's named Riku Sucks Forever. <laughs> In your face, Riku. I beat you when the deck was... Oh, I had Actually, I had Glide and the level 3 high jump, which definitely helped. Okay, we are looking for a seagull egg, three mushrooms, two coconuts, and fish. And, <laughs> and fill this up with the entry pass. So you can fill up you can fill up the water from that spout there, which most people do. But there's actually another way to do it. You can also go to the waterfall near the secret cave. Actually, can we just jump all the way up here? We can. We get a potion. The Crystal Trident! <laughs> we definitely need a second Crystal Trident. Come on, give me my second Crystal Trident. There we go. Thank you. Gotta sell it. Wee. Yeah, we can also, we can also get the entry pass from there or the drinking water. <laughs> do 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 do. And I got to get the third Ansem report one. Fittingly, right before Ansem talks to us. Alright, let's get Bambi, and then we can go back to End of the World. <laughs> Will we get a second Dumbo as well? We did. Wait, do we have two Dumbos? We have... No, we only have one Dumbo. That would have been funny if we had two Dumbos, though. Thanks for the Mega Potion, Merlin. <laughs> Why did it just cut to Donald like, I'm here! <laughs> uh, Alright, back to End of the World. Oh, what? Oh, shoot. There's no... I forgot. You can't gummy ship warp to the Great Crevasse. Well, this means we gotta do the Behemoth fight again. That's not nice. Dog on it. Forgot you can't warp to the Great Crevasse. That's okay, it's just a short trip away. It's just annoying that we're gonna have to fight the Behemoth again. Although maybe he'll give us the Omega Arts this time. Thank you. 
Almost. There we go. No level up. Oh, we did get a Mithril Shard, though. Would have been nice to get that if we weren't <laughs> playing Randomizer. Such a pretty theme. Yeah, that was my bad. We should have dived into World Terminus first. So that will take us back. This takes us forward. Okay, we can skip the ones that are purple. I think. Oh, can we actually skip all of them? This one's blue, so we have to go here. Oh, is this Atlantica or Halloween Town? Dog on it. So we still have to do Atlantica. Wait, why do we? S but we were able to skip Wonderland. We didn't defeat the Trick Master. Nice one, Donald. I just realized, because we never beat Ansem Riku, these guys are actually weaker than they normally are? Okay, this one's going to be Halloween Town. Yeah. There we go. We can skip Neverland. There's the Jack in the Box. So now we can actually go and do Halloween Town if we want, but at this point, I'm just going straight to the end. I think the only tough part's gonna be the final boss. Wait, we can't go forwards. Why can't we go forwards? Do we actually have to go for all of these? I thought the blue ones meant you had to fight. And then the, the purple ones were you didn't. I'm confused. Every time I've done End of the World, I've either done all of the worlds, or I've done, like, 
all but one. Okay, well, I guess we'll go back through all these worlds again. We've already done Halloween Town in Atlantica and Neverland, so I guess we'll go back and do the others. It must be Wonderland. So that should be Monstro. This should be Agrabah. This is Deep Jungle. That's Olympus. This one up here should be Wonderland. No, this is Traverse Town, apparently. Nice one, Donald. Wow. Oh, boy, the fire rain. <laughs> My favorite. You know, guys, I don't think we have enough fire resistance. We learned Sliding Dash, even though we uh, can't really do anything with it. Oh, okay, I hate it when Donald uses Stop when his NP is at that hop. They stay stopped for freaking ever. Is there no world terminus for Monstro? Actually, I think that's right. I don't think there's a world terminus for Monstro, which is kind of weird. I do wish the wooden sword had a little bit more range, but with the stats that it has, I'll take what I can get. Where's the chest? Oh, there it is. I love Hades giving it the thumbs up on the advertisement. It's like, hey, Hades Cup. Yeah, you, de you definitely want it. Wow, that is a lot of stuff that they're dropping. I guess I never really noticed it. Yeah, there's no world terminus for Monstro. It's a little weird how every single other world has one.
<laughs> That's it? All that for 80 money? Alright, well, if this doesn't open up the last world terminus, then I think we actually might need to seal the keyhole in uh, Hollow Bastion. Which means getting the remaining emblem pieces. Okay, yeah, I think, I guess this is where we get stuck. So I, th I think we can't progress until we either seal the keyhole in Hollow Bastion or until we can build the raft in Destiny Islands. Okay, was not expecting that. I thought you could just plow on through the end of the world once you got the Navigummy, but nope. World Turbidus will not be open to you until you clear ho Hollow Bastion, I guess. Gotta go back here because we uh, missed out on the Chamber Free checks, and there's a lot. Boo doo doo boo boo doo doo boo. Nyeow. We also missed out on two blue trinities, but those don't actually give you chests. Why are the Harless tougher now? Is it because I went to the end of the world? I thought they only got tougher after you defeated Ansem Riku. Thunder Gun Band. These guys still seem pretty weak. They don't seem to have nearly the HP that the endgame enemies usually have. Nice shot, Donald. There's the drinking water. Well, if we have the super tough enemies in each world, we should have all the best stuff in the shop, too, right? That's, that's only fair. Right? It's only fair. <laughs> uh, how many emblem pieces do I have? Free. Still only free. It's such a shame. We can buy defense ups. <laughs> They're not even that expensive. I don't have the last postcard, do I? Nope. Alright, fine. I see how it is. You give me the hardest enemies, but you're not going to give me the best equipment. Okay. Aha! Here we go. So I already know the ultimate weapon's not very good. Shiva belt. Mm, I wish I could synthesize those. I guess I'll make the ultimate weapon just because it does have really good reach. Now I'm not using up the wooden sword, though. Not unless I can get another one. Alright. Pumpkin head has more strength and more range, but less MP. It still has less strength than the dream shield as well. Alright. Ooh, Lord Fortune boosts his magic even more. Right now, I'm kind of going for the MP... Well, you always go MP build for Donald. Always. I could buy power-ups from him? If 
I sell a bunch of this? I can sell Peter Pan's dagger, Aladdin's sword. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of power-ups. <laughs> Give me seven power-ups, please. Using them all on Sora. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what are Sora's stats? Uh, strength, 50. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Another treasure magnet? Sure, why not? Uh, let's also equip our combo pluses. Not Vortex. Vortex is terrible. Alright. I don't think that does anything. But hey, Sid deserves some warmth. I guess we can go to Wonderland and fight the Trick Master. We do get one thing for him, and wowie wow wow, he's gonna be easy. Also, now that we have Glide, we can get the two things in the Tea Party Garden that we couldn't get before. I think we can also get it with Triple High Jump as well. Hi, Trick Master. My jumping is too good. <laughs> okay, yep. <laughs> Bye, Trick Master! And I think that was the tougher version of Trick Master if you happen to... Actually, wait, I don't think you physically can... How does that work? You literally can't get the tougher enemies normally without uh, beating Trickmaster first, because you need the gummies normally. Oh boy, I get the hero license. <laughs> Alright, well. There's a tournament being held at the... I could do Hades Cup, get some more magic spells, but at this point I'm really trying to either find the remaining food that I need. So, like, let's see. I have the drinking water, I have the coconuts... I have the seagull egg. Also, when you get when you get the coconut, you'll get both of them. I still need the mushroom. Oh wait, when do I got I have Theon Volume Six? When did I get Theon Volume Six? Is that one of the ones I need? Can I do the library puzzle now? Sorry, you have triple high jumps. This should be so easy. I think his jump is too good and he keeps hitting his head on the ceiling. There we go. Tea party garden. Megalixir. Actually, wait, okay. So which free emblem pieces do we have? We have... Blue Flame, Stone Statue, Treasure Chest. So we're missing the one... So Blue Flame... Oh, we're missing the one from the fountain. Okay. Do we have an Ansem report for that? Oh! We can also get the Mushroom from the Hidden Room. Okay, so... So at that point, all we would need... Actually, wait, that's it? Oh, we need the fish from Dragon Maleficent. So regardless, we need to... Okay. The chest at the lift stop has it. Okay. So we're going to Hollow Bastion, then. Well, first we're going to go to Agrabah. 
Because we'll be able to skip the linked worlds and Chernabog fights if we go here. Alright. So the hidden room has the mushroom that we need. And I already know where Dad is. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's what we want to do. We want to open that up. And you need... I think you're supposed to need Yellow Trinity to get this, but as long as you have a high jump, you can also grab it also. There's actually quite a few chests in Agrabah that we're missing. Yeah, one of these is going to have the mushroom. There's the mushroom. There's a mega potion. While we're here, I might as well clear up the last chests that we have. There's not a whole lot. And now that we have high jump and glide, they should be very easy. You see, this world doesn't give me the tough enemies. Off to the entrance. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh boy, just Mithril. <laughs> Glad I went all the way for some Mithril. Do 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 do. Oh boy, the pumpkin head keyblade that I synthesized. Like I said, if something's available for synthesis, you can and will find it somewhere else. So you never actually have to do it. I just like doing it because it can get me some good items earlier than I normally would be able to. We already got everything in there. So I think the Theon Volume 6... Uh, I, don't, I don't remember where I got that. That must be have been... That must be one of the two books that you need at the very beginning, because otherwise... Oh, actually, or because we have free high jumps and glide, we can actually potentially bypass the door, but we can't take the lift stop up to the top without... Yeah, it's, it's weird. You know, free high jumps all break... Equipping free high jumps kind of breaks the game a little. Xantasukin! Okay. Yes, please. Mmm. I need more AP for Donald. I think that was it. Yeah, we can go to the gummy ship now. Alright, off to Hummel Bastion. I know I'm bypassing Halloween Town entirely. Because that there's a lot there. Or, there's a lot to go through there just to get one chat just to get like one magic spell. I would much sooner do the first like twenty rounds of the Hades Cup to do to get two magic spells. Sure, what level are we? Level forty two. I think that's on the low side to beat the final boss, but I think it's entirely doable. We just might have to do a few attempts. So my my top priority now is just get to the final boss. So we're going to we're going to have to defeat Dragon Maleficent one way or another. But once we defeat Dragon Maleficent, we can build the raft. 
Okay. So Theon Volume 6 is either going to fit in one of these shelves. So that's the A shelf. That's the K shelf. Okay. So then here's what we're going to have to do. Let's go to the upper level first. And that, that door leads to where the emblem pieces are, but we can't actually go up in the castle until we open the door. It's it's a dumb little check that they do. But this could have the last emblem piece, because this is technically a chest in the lift stop. Nope. So if we don't find it if we don't find it down here, then we're going to have to keep exploring until we can find one of those books to go for the library puzzle. Or a fourth high jump. In which case, I think if we have four high jumps, we can jump over the bookcases. Actually, we might be able to jump over the bookcases now. So that's all that, all that way just for a mithril. There's no actual thing to pull down. Okay. Plan B. Going back to the library. With three high jumps, I don't think that's enough to jump over the bookcase. But maybe it is. Because I think we already tried it with three high jumps. But it may have only been two. Yeah, so we just phased through the emblem door. But the, the process of opening the emblem door plays a cutscene, and that will trigger a flag to allow us to actually move up. So... Oh! Oh, so close! Actually, wait. Oh! Triple high jump bypass the library. Slide one, thank goodness. It actually was Azzle Volume 3. Boy, I just love random chance chest moving. There's Fion Volume 6. Oh, hey! We opened the door to the ceiling. That's normally like the one part of the library puzzle I'm not able to do. Because that's where one of the books will be random. Most of the books are in the same place. It's only the ones that are like found in the chest that can be different, really. Once you get the puzzle started, though, you're pretty much golden. Say no to elixirs. No, sir. One of these shelves is supposed to have... <laughs> One of these shelves is supposed to have a book at the end of it for us to pick up, but... We have Azzle Volume 3. There we go. Oh, I think it's this shelf that has the book at the end of it. That you can pick up. <laughs> it's trapped in there. Oh, shoot, wait. I think if... So you see this rain here. If we jump down there, we would softlock ourselves if it were not for the instant gummy ship. <laughs> if 
first of all. Okay, well. I'm not going down there, I don't think. I just don't see a whole lot of point. puzzle, which will give us different stuff. Kind of wish it would still give us the emblem pieces right now, but eh, what can you do? <laughs> Fire is needed for quite a few puzzles, but like performance-wise in battle, it's not very good. So here we get an Efer. Forget me not. Ah, of course we get one of the books. And an AP up. How many AP ups do we have now? At least four, I think. Oh, three. All right, I'm actually going to use two on Donald, just so he can equip that blasted. Darn it, he's one short. Okay, you can unequip cheer, that's fine. But if I say put it back on, you're putting it back on. Alright, we got Von Karma Volume 8. The shelves are just high enough that you can't triple high jump out of it. That's what I was looking for, the Nahara Volume 5. <laughs> Let me out! <laughs> this is one crazy library puzzle. This better take me to the emblem piece. I think it literally has to. I don't see any other way to get do anything else in the lift stop, but this better give me the emblem piece. Okay, it can either be here or it could be up at the top. All right, there we go. Peace out. Literally, emblem peace out. That one has that much MP. Uh, wait, hang on. The EXP reigns each only give you one, right? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Donald is only getting plus two MP from his accessories, and he has that much MP. <laughs> Why? It was mine. Riku, we had our battle with you, like, so freaking long ago. You're still upset about that? For some reason, you have to open that door. You have to open the door every single time you get there. Anyhow, now that we have finally opened the door... Yeah, this switch right here would not be able to be accessed if you did not open the door of the four emblem pieces. Was that really my damage output?
Was I really just one-shotting those guys? That's amazing. Well, I normally do, yeah, magic builds for Maleficent and Dragon Maleficent, but not this time. Granted, I did buy nine power boosts from uh, Sid's accessory shop. <laughs> Might do some more of those before the final boss as well. Because with this much MP, I can just focus on arrow and then cures. I don't need to try to do any crazy summon shenanigans. I can just focus on brute strength. My HP is low. That is problematic. Maybe I'll try grinding for another uh, Omega Arts as well, because I can... The Fat Bandits drop those, and with Donald and Aladdin both have Lucky Strike, so that is an option. Because that would give Sora more HP and more strength, which would make the final boss fight a little safer. I also do have Second Chance, I have to remember that. Because Second Chance will really come in handy. Means I only have to heal when I'm at, uh, like, 1 HP. Right, Goofy? Right, Donald? Yeah, whatever! Oof. I will grab this Trinity, though, on the way. This is the best blue Trinity in the whole game. You get two Cottages and a Mega Elixir. <laughs> it's three things that give your whole party full HP and MP. Ooh, Golem Shield for Goofy. It's bad. Goofy's generic shield, the Night Shield, is his best weapon. The Wooden Sword is Sora's best weapon. Donald, I guess Lord Fortune is a pretty good weapon in the main game as well, but it's not nowhere near the quality of like the end game bonus items. Titan Chain. That's a big strength boost, isn't it? Oh, I have two Oh my goodness! That's a lot of extra strength. Is that more strength than the Omega Arts? It is. Less HP and less defense. I think I'll take the Omega Arts for one, but the Titan Chain for the other. Again, I'm only going to be using MP to cure and use Arrow. So I think the extra strength will be worth it. Having said that, how much less magic do I get from the Dream Shield? Three. I don't think three less magic is worth a couple of extra strength, though. Oh, speaking of which, oop. this is why I wanted Dumbo. Dumbo can skip this entire part of Hollow Bastion. Oh yeah, so much easier. Actually, wait. I think I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure with free high jumps, I could have just jumped up there. Well, if you don't have free high jumps, that's what you can do. <laughs> okay, for this fight, I'm gonna summon Tinkerbell, just for safety. I doubt I'll need it. Maleficent's a very simple fight, especially with my strength stat at this level. <laughs> it's more just... My low HP is what's... Actually, it's proud mode, so of course I'm going to have low HP. Alright, well, you don't- there's no need for that, Maleficent. Not really. Doggone it, Maleficent. Just die. Oh, hey, it's Maleficent. No! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Bye, Maleficent. Dragon Maleficent, I think, is going to be the toughie. Oh boy, I learned Tech Boost, and I get Ansem Report 5.
Alright, let's take on Dragon Maleficent then, I guess. This will be a tough fight. It usually is. Uh, boom! Uh. Welcome back to Tedo Addict. So we're pretty close to the end of the run now. As soon as I breach Dragon Maleficent, I can go to the final boss. The problem is beating Dragon Maleficent. Although Dragon Maleficent... Well, I also have Aurora, so that helps. Oh, isn't that funny? Dragon Maleficent's weakness is Aurora. <laughs> okay, come on, Donald. Heal Goofy. Yes! Bambi time! <laughs> Hi, Bambi! Oh, he's so cute. Force. <laughs> Keep using force when I'm trying to use arrow. I should have mapped stop to shortcut instead of gravity. <laughs> Photo finish, Maleficent! Alright, come on, Donald. Come on, Donald. Get out of here! Yeah. Come on! This'll finish her. There we go! Ooh, yes! <laughs> all of those me all of those EXP rings are just really coming in clutch. Oh yes, there we go, there's the fish. That that was the last fiend we needed. Actually, but just in case I'm wrong, then there actually is something that I'm forgetting. I caught a fish! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the last thing I need. I guess before we go to the final fight, let's stock up on items. <laughs> let's see how many more strength boosts I can buy. <laughs> yeah, so Sid's accessory shop sells str uh, power boosts for only 2,000 money. It's kind of a bargain. Okay, so first of all, it's been a while since I've actually exchanged these. Okay, I don't need any more elixirs. That's perfectly fine, alright. <laughs> alright, let's sell. What do we have to sell? Okay. Sell our Aura Calcum. Sell the slides, that's fine. We don't need the Crystal Trident. We don't need all these Ansem reports anymore. Especially the ones that I have multiple copies of. I have four copies of Ansem Report 1. Ooh, that's pretty good, but can we sell more stuff? We can sell a Fantasista. Oh, we can sell some of the... Oh, these don't sell for very much, though. Oh, what's that? We have six guard earrings? Yes, yeah, so let's sell all of those. Is that we have two Thunder Gun Bangles that we don't need? Yes, please. Oh, what's that? Four Element Rains. We ain't using those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can buy, I think, nine more Power Boosts. <laughs> hey, Sid. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I your number one customer. 
This is totally fair and balanced. Completely fair and balanced. I actually might have hit the point where, like, I deal more damage than is physically possible, so it just caps my damage. Hey, these are in the vanilla game. It's just normally you have to grind for synthesis materials to get infinite ones of those, not just pay money. Alright. We got the two coconuts, we got the fish, we got the drinking water, we got the mushrooms, and we have the seagull egg. So I think that's everything. Oh, let's stock up Donald and Goofy. Oh, we can't right now. Alright, I have everything, Kyrie. Thank goodness you gave me a high potion. I'm definitely going to need that for the final fight. You know, you know Riku has changed. No, he hasn't. <laughs> so we built the raft, and now it takes us to the final boss. Okay, how many Mega Elixirs do I have? Nine! Oh, I think that's literally enough for everybody to get... Oh my gosh, that's perfect. That's literally perfect. Um... I actually... Hmm. What's Goofy's strength currently? 31 strength... Okay, Goofy has only one more point of strength than Donald. Sora! 65 strength! <laughs> Maybe I should have used some of those power boosts on Goofy. <laughs> Alright, Ansem. Yeah, so there... So I was able to go to the end of the world, but I got blocked in World Terminus. So, to get for World Terminus, you need to clear Hollow Bastion and seal the keyhole there. This is not as much damage as I thought it would be. Or, alternatively, if you find everything that you need to make the raft, like all of the necessary parts and all the supplies, then you can just go straight to the final boss. It's more stuff to find, but that's just how it worked out. Alright, this is going to be a proper final fight. Uh-oh, he's going to submit. Nope. Submit. Submit. <laughs> Let's see how Muchu does against him. I think with my my MP is not super high, so I'm not sure if this will deal a lot of damage, but. <laughs> I had to sequence break the library puzzle so bad. I had I had to abuse my free high jumps to just uh, bypass the whole thing. Oh no, he submitted me. Okay, yeah, that's not as much damage I, as I would have liked. Especially not with Mr. Guardian here. No, I don't really want to. Oh boy, God, Donald used one of his Mega Elixirs already. Yeah, with, considering I have like 60-something strength, I'm not doing as much damage to him as I expected to. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm still getting so many level ups. 
I think I'm not even quite level 50 yet, but my strength is just absurd. Okay, we're just shy of level 50. Alright. Some last second things to equip. Uh, critical plus for sure. We don't need treasure magnet anymore. Uh, encounter plus. Let's get a second scan. That'll teach him. Donald, you can get Berserk and Cheer. Goofy. <laughs> oh, definitely second wind. And also, um, Sora, do I want gravity? Yeah, gravity. I think with this many high jumps, I can just jump straight to the dark side's head, even when he's standing <laughs> super straight. Getting 82 tech points every time I finish his head. Okay, I can't quite hit his head when I... Okay, he's actually a lot taller than I remember. Dark side is all size and no substance. Oh, hey, more max MP. Alright, this fight will be interesting. Oh, so soon? Submit already? Oh man, with double dodge roll though, it's really hard for the... Okay, well... He can still do it, but... Oh, we can also strike rate him. Great aiming, Sora. A+. Plus. Doggone it. Why do I keep thinking arrow is set to triangle? This is practice for my level 1 <laughs> fight against him. Oh, hey. That's funny. So does mine. Uh, completing you, the randomizer seed. Is very satisfying. All right. Oh, okay. Strength returns again so soon. Oh man, and Anson. He has no weapon, and yet he's so intimidating and has so many interesting attacks. Does he always end with that with SUBMIT?! I'm beating the final boss with a wooden sword. <laughs> Oh yes, best final boss music ever now. Garnando Nel Buio. My defense is a lot better than I was expecting. I mean, I know I have Aurora, but even so, 
He's not killing me in like two hits. The darkness. I still think it's very weird that Ansem is shirtless in the final battle. No, I won't. <laughs> That's Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. <laughs> Return to darkness. No. <laughs> That actually could have almost been very bad. He had to be shirtless because Sephiroth was shirtless. He really didn't. It's so weird because, like... <laughs> Ansem went from, like, this, like, fallen mad scientist who's obsessed with darkness to, like, look at my abs. Let's say I'm not looking to forward to this fight at level one. Not at all. Welcome to darkness. Oh. <laughs> just tank it. Just tank the damage. Just keep hitting him. All shall be, I repeat, all shall be extinguished. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's weird he's shirtless, but this is still one of my favorite final bosses ever. The atmosphere and the uh, music have a lot to do with it. That is a lot of experience points I'm getting for each shadow. Oh yeah, I love Sephiroth's Kingdom Hearts outfit. I'm one of those guys who never picks shirt with Sephiroth in Smash. Try again, Ansem. Oh, this is going to be good. The Portal of Darkness! I am one-shotting these dark balls. Get back here. Goofy, my 60 strength self will have to deal with you later. <laughs> Goofy, you're blowing all your mega elixirs. I, d I don't think I'm going to need them. Dark Balls, man, they're so freaking obnoxious. Not even that difficult. They're just really annoying. Oh yeah, this... <laughs> I am very much dreading the final boss at level 1. Although it's gonna be easier than the Linked Worlds fight, I think. Linked Worlds fight, I literally redid the entire level 1 run just to make that fight easier. No, <laughs> not clickbait. Actually, how does gravity fare? I don't think gravity does very well. No, physical attacks are way better. <laughs> At least with my 60 strength self. <laughs> yeah, like this fight, like if your stats are good, you can literally just tank all of the damage and just keep hitting them over and over again. But like, what if you can't do that? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Goofy's like, I can't watch. Too violent. Gore, scary. <laughs> Just destroy his face already. <laughs> All right, it's time for invisible fights with Donald. Gosh. The wooden sword is too powerful. <laughs> I'm still leveling up like crazy. I know it's because I have, I think, six EXP boosting, like, uh, accessories equipped on my party members, but still. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm no longer under leveled at this point. The game kind of expects you to be around level 50 to finish the game. <laughs> oh no, don't crash. <laughs> Game, don't crash. I also want to point out, this is like my one stream where OBS has not decided to crash, despite this being a much more physically demanding game than something like, say, Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> Try to figure that out. That thing is absorbing a lot of physical hits. All right, <laughs> it's time for Shirtless Ansem 2. <laughs> Good lord, this, what is even, this, this fight kind of encapsulates Kingdom Hearts perfectly. <laughs> Darkness! <laughs> I, I, it is a tragedy we didn't get Billy Zane back for the other Kingdom Hearts games. His battle quotes are the best. <laughs> no, I don't think I will! <laughs> oh, I just realized we never used Simba. <laughs> We didn't need to, because we didn't need to go through Linked Worlds. <laughs> Wooden sword to the rescue! <laughs> what does this guy must think? He's like, I have obtained the supreme power of darkness, and then, like, a little kid with a toy wooden toy sword just destroys him. <laughs> what a brilliant game. <laughs> Roxas, that's a stick. <laughs> yeah, I know. The stick is the best weapon. <laughs> the stick, the wooden sword was literally the best weapon. <laughs> the keyblade alone cannot see the door to darkness. <laughs> oh, yes, best part. <laughs> Fill me with the power of darkness. <laughs> Fill me with the power of wooden swords. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's, it's so cheesy and so dumb, but also just so epic. I love it. That that's it. That is how I love my video games. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we can skip Riku. That's fine. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so I actually I actually did le I learned something new in the randomizer today. You don't you need more than the Navagummy to go to end of the world. 
You can get to the end of the world with just the Navigummy, but you cannot complete World Terminus and reach Chernabog until after sealing the keyhole in Hollow Bastion. Alright, that's, that's kind of cool. So you either need the Navigummy and the four emblem pieces, or you need all of the parts of the raft in order to reach the final boss. Okay, so there is, it is a little more logic locked than I thought it was. It's still largely, I think, combat locked, though. Hi, Kyrie. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> oh, wait, no. My stream's gonna copyright strike if I, can't, if I have this music up. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was, yeah... As far, it's hard to rank this randomizer compared to the Zelda ones, because, oh man, it, they're so different. Again, the Zelda ones are far more logic-based, and this is more combat-based. I'd say it's probably, I'd, it's probably my third favorite. I like the Ocarina and Majora randomizers probably a bit more, but this is definitely a nice change of pace, and I definitely prefer it to the Oracle randomizers and the Link to the Past randomizer. It's very different. I want to get the Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer working as well, but that one, for some reason... I can't get it to work, man. Like, both of these are like, oh, have this Lua backend installed. I have Lua front end and run that just physically in the background, but apparently that doesn't work for Kingdom Hearts 2 because I couldn't get Lua backend working. I don't know. But if I can stream Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer in the future, I definitely sure as heck will. I also might do a either co-op KH1 randomizer or a competitive KH1 randomizer race with Fly. Uh, in the future. But first, we have to finish our level 1 run. That should hopefully be coming pretty soon. But, I don't, I don't know. We'll <laughs> keep, keep you posted on that. As for Saturday streams, well, I could keep doing these one-off ones until after February, because I will be vacationing at the end of February. And I'll be taking time off that, that time. Anyways, I am debating because... <laughs> Because I just hate myself a little bit, I've been debating trying to do a Pikmin 2 no deaths run, which would be absurdly difficult and probably very rage-filled, but it's something I want to try, so maybe that'll be in the future? Or maybe I'll do more Roller Coaster Tycoon, or maybe both? I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was definitely a fun randomizer. I, I, def I think it's very well done. It's still a bit buggy. And I, there are some changes I would like to see in the future, but all in all, this is this is thoroughly enjoyable. Very nice. All right, I think that's it for today. <laughs> Pikmin 2 is very, very difficult. No deaths run. Oh man, it's probably going to be a lot of grinding for the sprays. But I want to, I want to try it. You know, I want to try it because. because you know, I like a challenge every once in a while. I also eventually want to do the Banjo 2e5 jump challenge. <laughs> yes, you can beat Banjo 2e only jumping five times. But I, it's also a little too soon after completing my Banjo 2e Let's Play, so I'll have to do that in the future. Thanks for joining the Title Addict and Proxima. This is a ton of fun. I am definitely, <laughs> I've definitely streamed for too long in one sitting. Thank you all for joining in. It's been a blast. Monday, I think we'll be going back to the Ocarina Multi-World randomizer, because I think JP and Shaggy finally can start doing that again. And then Wednesday, we'll be continuing Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> and apparently, I'm on one of the worst chapters in that, so, oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.